<laughs> but because it's pizza, you put it in front of me, I'm not going to say no to it. I'm, <laughs> because, because 16 to 24 year old Marcus, would, that was like Wednesday, Thursday, Friday meal. Every dinner. Me and my buddy, my buddy Jeff. What's good, y'all? Hope everybody's living well and staying blessed. It's your boy, Marcus B. As always, I'm with you one and only, Mr. Evan Simmons and new guy, Chris. And this is episode 55 of Holla At Me with Marcus B. And today I sat down with the one and only Mr. Marcus Duran. He was the second ever guest on the podcast. Uh, if you want to go check out the original one and you didn't get a chance to listen to that, I highly recommend it. Uh, this was at the peak of quarantine and we talked about a lot of things in education. So I'd go check that out if you haven't. Otherwise, with this one, if you just want a good laugh, this is highly recommended because uh, we just kind of talk about a bunch of random topics. We talk about teaching as we do, but then we get into the importance and intricacies of pizza, and I keep telling these kids to take their supplements, and they still don't, and Duran knows that I'm right, and I have things to say, and you should probably listen to me, but he's slowly getting his way around it. Uh, anyways, we also talk about uh, shoes, and uh, we have officially opened up a challenge. It is the 28-day challenge. <laughs> uh, by the time this comes out, it'll be 25. Uh, we're running a marathon on February 14th, so if anybody wants to get on that, come check it out. Otherwise, uh, if you like this episode, if you like what we're doing here, make sure you like, follow, subscribe, and share with all your homies. Uh, friendly reminder that we are still sp sponsored by Redcon1. Use my promo code T20, Marcus B, at checkout. If you need a, a link to that website, you go to the uh, Instagram page. There's a direct link there. Go check it out. Make sure you show us some love. Get all your vitamins, nutrients, supplements, and proteins out there. Otherwise, hope you guys enjoy the episode. Peace. <laughs> The only thing uh, left to do really is like uh, live shows, but seeing as though, you know, we're teachers during the week, right. it's kind of hard to do a show on a Monday evening. Well, I mean, it would be, it'd be easy now. It would be easy now. Would yeah, be. you're right. Because there's no marching band. There's no marching band. Actually, life simplified exponentially once marching band stopped. It feels dirty. I don't feel dirty at all. <laughs> <laughs> I know for you, but uh, I'm still like not... Have, I'm, I'm like, yeah, I got plenty of time now. I'm still not used to not having weekends. Or, Cause, excuse me, cause we, with having weekends. Because we're not doing live performances. Yeah. So it's I mean, like the festival season is like kind of hold, on hold, on hiatus mm -hmm. right now. And so... Speaking so of... Like, oh, yeah, that's cool. I'll just hang out. Our boy Jacob over at Lake Bell. Yeah. Yeah. He found out that... Who was it? It was Texas State. Mm-hmm. SMU? Wait, what are you talking about? I think there was three schools that, like, they were for sure TCU's doing. TCU's having TCU the festival. TCU is uh, having their jazz festivals. Yeah. That's the same week as, the, like, our proposed Wildcat Jazz really? in-house festival. Ah. It's like the, it's that Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So it's the same week as uh, Temple's festival would be, but they're not having it. So it's just a matter of finding out with all the sports, sports ball kids. Gotcha. What works with them. Because tennis kids are out on Friday when I wanted to do it with the middle schools. Jalen's got sports track at the Texas Relays if he qualifies, mm. and I'm not subbing in a lead player nah. for that. Like either we're going on Saturday or we'll just go on Thursday. Gotcha. So I'm trying to not stick it to the sports folks because they've not been kind to us. For better or worse, <laughs> you're going to be a better man. Um, I'm just gonna like eliminate all those conflicts. Be like we're just gonna do it on a Thursday. We'll swing on a Thursday, man, and we'll. Probably be terrible, but whatever. <laughs> hey man, they're uh, they're not they're figuring it's not it bad. out. They're figuring it they're out. They're figuring it out. Yeah. It just I it's year one and the right now is not. So it's, it's going very different than it's I thought. It's not that ideal year one. Yeah. That we'd all hoped. When for. I shot the hostage in the first month, yeah. when I was like, "Hey, you didn't do your region jazz recordings. You're out." And they, they were like, "Oh, this guy's serious about this." Yeah. Like, That's weird. <laughs> Nobody's ever done that to us before. Like well, surprise, surprise, <laughs> we out here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what What do you think is a more disappointing 
outcome for the band this year or last year's? Uh, in years. terms of in terms of what? Of like reaching uh, lack of a better way of saying it, but like reaching full potential. Um, I don't know. It's kind of a draw right now. Really? Because like those kids last year didn't get to didn't get to finish it out, uh, and that's a bummer to them. And they're all doing their things now. Yeah. Uh, and then this year we'll just you know we just kind of go and and see how it goes. You know the. I think the goal for that for this year is just let's let's just play, kind of reestablish. I hate using the term new norms, but let's reestablish some new norms, uh, and let's do it the way I think it should be done this time. You know, yeah. and that's not that's not a, a knock against Brent because man, he did it like really well for a very long time. Yeah, you know, but uh, just doing it the way I think it looks now, you know, g- giving more community performances, mm-hmm. making sure the middle school guys see us on a regular basis. Yeah. There's always that interaction so that way everybody feels safe. The solo development with the uh, soloists, always focusing on, I want you to be a better soloist first and foremost, uh, more so than being a great section player. Like yeah. you gotta be a, you gotta be a, I just want a band of soloists. Uh, and that's, I think that's actually paid off quite a bit. I think that will pay off more than it did last. I think that's where we'll see the big dividend payoff. Uh, yeah, I would agree with that. Because as we've done like combo stuff, the kids that used to be scared of soloing are not as scared anymore. And now they're willing to like take a risk. Maybe sound bad, but they don't realize they sound bad yet. And if they do sound bad, they're at least taking a risk. They're going for it. And they kind of reassess them like, oh, okay, once they hear themselves on the recordings I, I, I send out to them, they kind of like, oh, wow, okay, so maybe I should try this next time. Yeah. And you're so, doing a lot of extra work as well, giving them a lot of the, like those. Yeah, pre- like I, I, those I will licks. sit down and like transcribe. I transcribe some Coltrane stuff, uh, transcribe whatever the other tunes, some Horace Silver licks for them. I try to give them like real vocabulary because, like, when we went to Gin, can, like, can you think like this time last year we were yeah. in New Orleans <laughs> with a crazy. large crowd of people from around the world. And now we're here stuck in... We, we, were doing oh. a, 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 we were doing an actual second line through the hotel lobby. Yeah, yeah. I was literally bumping elbows with the Dirty Dozen Brass Band. Yeah. You know, like, we're just, like, out there hanging. And, but, like, just being in that, that atmosphere, that's what kind of caught my attention to go, like, oh, I should, like, we should start doing this more. Yeah. Because if our kids are... I mean, Chris was there. Yeah, like, when he... If you, I, don't, I don't know if you did the second line or not. Did you do the second line? Uh, or did you just like meander with the crowd? Kind of meandered, yeah. Kind of meandered. But like you saw all of our guys play. Mm-hmm. People you wouldn't expect to get their horns out and play along. And they're like, oh man, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They just want to jam. Just have some fun. Yeah. So that would be the next step. Is like in the old band hall space, we would, the kids would like have a creative area where they could just like jam out. Yeah. You know, and we wouldn't like give them any. It's like when Ernie and those guys would like turn, you guys would turn uh, yeah. Chava style into a ballad. <laughs> Which that should still happen. That needs to be a piece. Like that needs to be a legitimate. If you make that needs to be a halftime. If you make Chop Style a ballad, a legit piece, we're playing the Hey Song and we're playing the Horse. I, I can get behind that, but like Chop Style ballad would need to be in the marching show. Oh my like God. that would need to be like a legit, a legit <sighs> marching band composition because you could totally, dr- not drumline. Oh, I mean you could drumline fly that, but. You could totally like DCI that. Oh yeah. And I feel like we have like a staff in place where like, hey, we should make that a ballad. How can we do that? That'd be good. You could do, you can get some some nice fat chords yeah. out there. I mean, it just and it wouldn't have to be like a an overly overt, you know, excuse me, an overly done piece, but it it just be a nice little subtle nod uh, to like the last the handful of the, people the several years that we've been playing that since Medina was around and like just everyone kind of like oh yeah, Chapa style man yeah that's Chapa style that's cool man. <laughs> Great. We'd, we'd have to hear it every day and hear kids play it wrong first before they start playing it right, but that Just, would be a nice little hook. That'd be pretty dope. That'd be a nice little hook in there. God, I, and you brought it up the other day. We need to start thinking about marching band, and that just stresses oh, yeah, me yeah, out. Yeah, I forgot that was the thing. Yeah, I'm not in marching band mode right now. I'm not in marching I'm, band I'm in, mode. I'm in concert mode. I'm in, <laughs> I'm in fundamental mode, man. Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah. I, good Lord. Just trying to figure out Everything that's wrong with the kids and what if they I, don't if, know. If I'm not in school mode, I'm in running marathon mode. So, yeah, which man. is which is a whole other thing in itself. But you know, it's. I'm glad we had marching season. I, yeah. I really am, you know, because like our kids pulled it off big time. Comparatively to like, 
the rest of the world, the rest yeah. of Texas. You know, the rest of Texas, man. Like, Cedar Park went to, their football team made it to the state finals. Yeah. That was the first time they went somewhere as a marching band. Oh. Really? All year long. Wow. I think. I could be wrong. Wow. You got the Google machine pulled up there. Yeah. You can always look that up. <laughs> Uh, but I like I'm pretty sure like that was their first time like going somewhere because I remember talking to the the guard guard instructor Casey and he was like oh yeah we're going to the game I was like really you guys are and they're like yeah like we're just we're gonna go and we're gonna that'll be our kids marching band experience for the year I was like that's that's absolutely nuts man that's wild you know I Which, mean that's cool that they got to do something and yeah that's a really high level of something to perform at but that's rough. Yeah. For year one and done, basically. Because they lost, right? Uh, that I don't remember. I don't remember if they won or lost. Uh, who did they have played? Who did they play on there? Played like Denton Ryan, I think. Because Denton Ryan's like one of the newer schools. Yeah. But, uh, but I mean, like, they, they got to go. They got to get on the bus, put on a uniform, and feel a little... Was it Denton Ryan? Yeah, Denton Ryan. Yeah. They won. Yeah. Denton Ryan won? Yeah. Gotcha. But like they got to put on the uniform and like go... Be a marching band Do for a little, yeah. and they took all eight of their buses just like we've done, you know, and get it, out there. It blows my mind now looking back at it. Everything that we had to do to to make marching band happen. Yes. Exhausting. <laughs> yeah. Good lord. Definitely. So, so exhausting. A new level of tired. I probably hadn't felt since I like pledged Kappa Kappa Psi. You know, like, yeah. and I'm, like you, I'm sure you did like Symphonia or or, yes. or the or the other Capri episode, but like you know, like they have like their their tor- their their hell week, as yeah. they call, you know, it's like the week you get no yeah. sleep and whatever, and you know, by like Wednesday you're like I'm not gonna make it, I'm not gonna make it. Oh, that was like every Monday on marching band, yeah. marching band time. You know, it's like all right, it's Monday. Start at six thirty. We end at eight thirty. <laughs> okay. All right. I, when I mean, when I say six thirty, six thirty in the morning. You you know that. Yeah. We, we we finally like debrief by eight thirty. Like all right, we're going home now. Okay. Oof. Let's do it again tomorrow. See you guys tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So like that. I mean, that was. I'm glad we did it. Thought our kids did a. Our kids did a great job going all the way through that stuff. They were there. We had our natural bumps in the road along the way, uh, but man, like you know, I thought they came together well, especially that two weeks out when we. We as a staff discussed it. We discussed it with the kids, and the kids were like, no, we should go to contests. We should do these things. Uh, it's like, okay, like if you guys think so, let's yeah. let's do this. And they and they played well, you know. And I think we did a better job of tailoring the show to them to make sure that they could be able to execute if we were missing numbers for whatever reason. Yeah, you know. Surprisingly, that worked out fairly well. Yeah, I think so. And I think we had our scares at the beginning of the year during the summer, which is expected when you have those large groups like that. So, but would I want to do all that again? Ah, maybe. Mm. Depends on the day you ask me. <laughs> but and I also think we just we have the right we had the right kids to make everything happen this year, in terms of like student leadership. I agree with that. If that makes sense. Yeah. You know. Because I think if we didn't have a good leadership core in place, if they didn't embrace like during leadership camp, like the amount of weirdness that it could be this year, I I don't know if we would have lasted. Yeah, I'll I'll definitely agree with this. Is probably one of the stronger groups of, just like go with the flow type. Yeah. On the on the leadership team, so that was that was definitely beneficial in the long run. And I like since we've been here, man. Like we've had like great leaders come through the band, you know, in our in our last three years. Yeah. Like we really have had some great leaders come through, and they they do their part. They get everybody going, and this year was no exception, man. Like, if anything, they, I think they had the harder task to make sure they were holding their peers accountable and and knocking stuff out of the park on that. Yeah, it was just a it was a longer time, and yet it was a shorter time, which is the the yeah. the weirdest thing about it is that the season went so long, but it felt so thin. Well, it felt thin because I mean we didn't go to away games. Yeah. We didn't go to away games. Yeah. The summer band was a third of uh, two. Uh, summer band was just weird in itself. Just because we did two third weeks. Third of the time, yeah. We did two weeks in person. And then just to have us ready. Yeah. For, you know, the event, like the world mm-hmm. collapsed. And, you know, the, the, 
what you know the worst of the worst happened and we had to just not leave our house and yeah it's like all right we're gonna try this remote for three weeks and we'll see what happens which i'm glad we did because i've I, I personally worked out a bunch of kinks like all right i know how to make this work i can use sure. this program uh a lot of little things like that as we went on so absolutely but like i said would i want to do all that over again yes and no i, I think it's a hard no for me though. i think it's a hard <laughs> no for me i i appreciate the time i appreciate yeah. that it it, it basically worked out but i don't know man i was i was a different level of there's just a different level of stress at all times yeah yeah and it was and previously like you knew what the stress was yeah yeah this year it just felt like i'm stressed out i know that there's gonna be a reason for me to be stressed out today but i don't know when that's gonna happen upon my person yeah yeah, ambiguous stress is the hardest stress you can have. Yes. Yeah, I mean, because like when you don't know what's what's gonna happen, you know, any given day, you know, like we could show up and be like, "Hey, we're so and so." You know, we don't know. We're not really sure what's going on. Like, yeah. Okay. Well, hopefully they let us know what's happening. You know, and that's that's not the kids' fault. I mean, there could have been a million things going on. We just we wouldn't know right away, and just kind of like, all right, well, hopefully they're here tomorrow, and we'll we'll hit the ground running. If not, fingers crossed. If not, hey, you over here, you're in right there. Get going. You know, so yeah, that was there, that was the weird a lot thing because because like we check we check we check the kids in at the at, at the beginning yeah. of every morning, and it'd be like just normal like ah uh, man I you know just kind of general hope that every kid's gonna show up yeah, and then this year was like well if they don't show up there's this laundry list of reasons why they didn't yeah as opposed to just like didn't have a ride. Which would be a normal situation where it's just like, well, that sucks, but okay. Yeah. This year it's like, mom lost the car. Mom what? lost the car. Dad <laughs> lost a job or all kinds of crazy stuff. And Grandma's you know, just, sick. Uncle's sick. We just took it in stride and like, okay, this will be temporary. We'll hopefully see you soon and we'll, we'll figure it out as we go from yeah. there. So, I mean, that, that, was, that, was the, that, was a, that was a big stress. And the one thing I think I learned this year as a teacher was how to take a step back and somehow try to find a way to decompress as we, as we go through that, which I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if you have, or like Evan, I don't know if you have, but I, I know, I, I know you do. I learned the importance of it this year. Yeah. I don't know if I succeeded in the yeah. fall. I definitely like going into the spring semester. I am, yeah. I'm big time, like Friday checkout. <laughs> yeah. I'm doing like I, I that's yeah. par- partially why I put salsa band on Friday because then it's just like, just kick it back. My last hour is just for funsies. Yeah, like I just I'm I'm literally dancing for fifty minutes, <laughs> just like teaching the kids how to play some notes. I'm like, yeah, yeah. this feels good, and then I just get to kind of dissipate into the weekend and then come back on Sunday, get my life together, then do it again on Monday. Yeah, well, we haven't done a Monday yet, which is weird. That's the other weird thing. Yeah. But I, like finding a way to balance, because I was I've never been good at this. Like I will wholly admit that. Yeah. I've never been good at balancing work and lo- and like personal life, because work oh, always yeah. bled into personal life. Personal life always bled into work. Right. And like when we didn't have Friday night games this past year, it was, oh, I'm I'm just I'm just going home. <laughs> I'm just gonna go home. I'm just gonna now go on Friday. Home. Weird. Just I'll watch the live stream. Gone. Maybe I won't. <laughs> I didn't, and I don't feel bad about that. No. Because. I mean, I watched, I don't even remember what I watched. I think I was in the middle of like, no, I, I watched The Office over the summer. That's what it was. Uh, and so what, I don't remember what I watched. I was stuck on something. I was watching like Suits. Like okay. just going through the season of Suits, you know, like binging all my favorite shows of in the last few years. Uh, but that would be like the one thing on my, my phone on the treadmill if I ran indoors. I'd like set the phone up like, all right, I'm going to watch Suits while I run this morning. There you go. Because, you know, you're going you're gonna to knock out a quick six miles. It's going to take you about 40 minutes. <laughs> That's an episode worth. Yeah, I can, I can do that. Cool. Easy. Yeah. If I, you know, if I wasn't running outside. But finding that balance between everything, that's, I think, about like October, November. It all kind of like collided into one. And just like I had to take a step back and like, this is not healthy. This is not good. What yep. should I do about this? And someone's like, you should just take a day off. We can do that? <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes well, and that's, that's, that's me from a personal standpoint of I don't want to let you guys down. I don't yeah. want to print down. You know, it's like if I leave, because everybody has their role 
on our staff. It's such a tight ship. Yeah. Like, everybody has their role, and, like, when a kid notices somebody gone, they're like, hey, man, what's going on? Why is he not here? (laughs) I got no analysis. Is is the world falling apart? Where's she at? Should we be worried? Yeah. Like, where did he go? (laughs) What's going on? Yeah. That that day, everybody coming up to me like, where's Duran at? And I I actually didn't know. Yeah. (laughs) And I was like... I don't know, probably pressing sick or something. Just I, I just generic answer yeah. of like he's a dad. I assume the only reason why he leave he missed his school is because of his kid. So and then he uh, came back and you're like, ah, that that was kind of took a day. That was a me only day. I was like, oh, all right. Because you know, my wife asked, she said, hey, are you gonna keep the kids home? No. Because <laughs> like my my original plan was kind of like reset myself. Uh, with my wife being from Austin, when she, like we first went down there, she introduced me to Town Lake, the Town Lake trails, and a lot of running mm-hmm. trails down there. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I was like, I know what I'm going to do on Monday. I'm going to go down to Austin. I'm going to go run some trails. I'm going to go eat some great pizza. Hell yeah. I didn't because I was worried I was going to get the Rona. Because Austin, apparently, if you just walk in the streets, you're going to get it. At least during that time, there was, that, kind of, yeah. there was kind of a small surge. And I was like, well, I don't know if I have to wear a mask on Town Lake. I'm not going to run in a mask. Because I, 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 not that like I can't breathe. I just I sweat profusely. Yeah. yeah and the yeah, mask yeah. would just you know, with the beard. I don't know how that would work. And it's not gonna be a good time. It's not gonna be a good time at all. So I, I just chose like I'll just do my normal run in the morning. Check, check. Played with a dog in the yeah. backyard and just really man like I think I answered a couple of your texts that day, a couple of Brent's, but other than that, I mean honestly, I just when I checked my phone at like before I went to bed, it was like seventy five emails. From all kinds of people. I was like, wow, man, I really... I'm gone for one day, you know? Man, you can't... Y'all need to figure this out. <laughs> Just slowly falls apart. Came back the next day. They're like, where did you go? I was like, oh, don't worry about it. I'm fine. <laughs> it's one day. Yeah. Yeah, like, I'll be all right. It's trying to... Was that the same day? No. The the later time was when, when you had the COVID scare. Yeah. And it happened to also be on a testing day. Yes. Uh, oh my gosh, me having to send those emails to yeah your girl, Davis. Yeah, and, and it's just one of those like I'm thankful it, like it all came out negative, but man, I you know, I thought I was dying, literally. Like I woke up middle of the night, like had the had the chills, had 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 uh, had a fever, had diarrhea, and just all these other symptoms. I was like, oh my god, I think I have COVID. Like, oh yeah, god, this is it. This is the end. This is it. You know, and I called my doctor, and he was like, "Yeah, let's well, tell me about your situation." Like, while I work in a school, he goes, "All right, red flag, man, we got, we got a problem." <laughs> and he's like, "Are you wearing a mask?" Like, "Yeah, I wear a mask, except when I'm on the podium, so that way the, the online kids can see me." He's like, "How close in contact are you with kids on a regular basis?" Oh, I, I teach band. He goes, "Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, like, <laughs> all right, yeah, you gotta get a test, man. So gotta all get the a time. test." Yeah, so I mean, I did my little drive-through thing, and they stabbed me in the back of my head, and you know. It, I lucked out and came out negative, and that that was a relief in itself because, I mean, I think that was like a week or two before like all of our Christmas recordings. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and that was like from a from a personal standpoint, that was the first concert, the first official yeah concert with with the highlighters, and I you know, I just went back into my bad place and like oh man I can't believe this can't believe this. Yeah, I thought I was going to have to direct highlights <laughs> for the first concert. I was like, I'm not. I'm not prepared for this. And I think I had it set up to where you literally could have just walked on stage. Yeah. And just, all right, play it. And they, <laughs> I think they would have. It would have been fine because that's what yeah. I was doing in rehearsals. Yeah. I just turned to Dominic. I'm like, how does he count this one off? Mark just starts. <laughs> oh, Mark already started. <laughs> you guys know when to come in? <laughs> yeah. Five, six, stri- all right, you guys know, yeah, all right, cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. So, you know, that was, I was like weighing heavily on that. And I never try to make a lot of these things about me. I try not to, but just, you know, it's like the, that group has a very special place in my heart. All, all of the, all Wildcat Band stuff has always had a special place in my heart. But like, I just, I didn't want to miss that. Yeah. I did not want to miss that. And if I had to like, chime in through FaceTime somehow just to be that I would have done that if that were the case but it would have been a nice delayed count off through there and <laughs> it would have made uh, it interesting that's for sure imagine just you being on a on a iPad on just a giant <laughs> iPad you just hold me up just put your face on mine yeah just look around uh, 
yeah, dude, it was, it was, that fall semester just felt, felt so long. And now looking at this spring semester, it's like, it's even longer. That's rough. Well, rough. technically the, the fall semester's not even over yet. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That's why it's even longer. <laughs> yeah. And it's got your boy big stressed. I don't know. Like, what have, what have you been doing to, like, kind of combat the stress with that? Like, we all, I mean, we all have our vices well, as I, they go through things. And, and Evan, you can chime in, too. Yeah. Man. Like, this, I'm, just, this I'm is, always curious. This is the issue I'm running into, is that the gym could easily become my personality. Sure. Like, that is quite literally... Just because, like, that's... It's, like, for whatever reason, that's how I function, is that I could only just kind of... I I don't do things subtly. So... That's true. You're, like, all in <laughs> or I'm all out. Exactly. Like. So, I'm, like, I could be at the gym for three hours and not really bat an eyelash. But looking at it fundamentally, I'm, like, that's a problem. You can't... <laughs> Yeah, you can't go to the gym for that long. You need to do other things. Right. So, I don't know. I've made it a, a kind of a point to spend time with different people on the weekends. I think is is the big one. Um, going to enjoy food is is definitely yeah right definitely on. it. God, dude, I spent so much money this weekend. <laughs> Painful. <laughs> Went to. And there is there are a few places I have less self control yeah. when it comes to food than barbecue. Yeah, I don't think that, that's like a requirement. I think we're walking the door. My boy Scott, <laughs> super man, he's just like, yo, I just want a side. Let me get a brisket sandwich. Right. We're straight. I was like, cool, 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 cool. Uh, I'm gonna get two sides. Uh, <laughs> out the gate. Uh, and then let me, uh, I'm for sure gonna get a piece of sausage. So just go and wrap that up. Uh, <laughs> what is that? That's pork belly. Yeah, uh, let me get a pork belly sandwich. What ribs you got? I'll take all of them. Yeah, full rack. <laughs> you do sort of order a platter of food whenever you go I, somewhere. It's a problem. <laughs> I. But the, I mean, that, I feel like that's barbecue. Yes. Yeah. Like you yeah. can't go to barbecue and be like, "Yeah, I'll have a chopped beef." That's it. Bag of <laughs> chips. I could do that. Big red. Yeah. <laughs> go, take me to Bill Miller's all day. Yeah. Because it's what it's Bill Miller's is for. That fast food barbecue. Yeah. But you go give me give me a real barbecue joint. Yeah, I feel I feel disrespectful to the to the venue if I don't drop seventy dollars. That sounds about right. I mean, like, so like when I was in college, there was a place in Steamville called Hard Eight Barbecue, and we would go there and be like, I would like a chopped beef sandwich. I would like a potato. Let me go ahead and get a sausage wrap. Uh, go ahead and throw on the macaroni and cheese. Yep. Yeah. I'll get a couple bags of chips. <laughs> a couple. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm one of those guys that you got to eat barbecue chips when you eat barbecue. I'm, just, I, I'm weird like hmm. that. I need to eat regular <laughs> chips. See, I'm not, I'm not like that, though. I am that, that, that cliche, like, I like my barbecue chips with barbecue. That doesn't, like... It doesn't conflict. I mean, it just doesn't. I don't know why. Hmm. I, I don't even eat chips with barbecue. Like, I don't like chips. With, like, with a chopped beef. I just like I'll, a, I'll, I'll do, I'll do, I like as much ginger. bread to be around as possible. <laughs> so if it's got to be in the form of a chip, I'm gonna do it with two bags of chips, just because one serving is never enough. Never enough. So, but, but yeah, I mean, like, if, like when I would go, when we would go there in college with with my with my wife, it would be probably about like sixty bucks. Yeah. Between the both of us. Yeah. And then, like at the time, they served free beer because they didn't have like a alcohol license. <laughs> and so you're like, oh yeah, like just make sure you show your ID, give you a little eight ounce or Dixie cup of, of. <laughs> Coors Original or the Bank just Albert. or whatever. Yeah, just like, you can go. get as much as you want as long as you just... Yeah, they give you the tray and like walk it over. Here you go. Enjoy. <laughs> I don't like how you... The judgment I got from, from you <laughs> when I said $70 is light work. Don't appreciate that. Oh, <laughs> I said, That's yeah, so I, feel, I feel disrespectful. I don't spend $70. That's... I heard you say, oh my God. Yeah, but, I mean, $70. That's... It's, that's easy, bro. Yeah. Because that's that's... Uh, a pound of brisket is 20 bucks. Yeah. Right there. So let's say you do half a pound of lean, half a pound of fatty, 20 bucks out the gate. Sandwich, $7. Turkey, $12. Ribs, yeah. $15. Wait, look at it right there, man. Look at that right there. Pound. Full pound. <laughs> 21. Straight $21 up. for see, a brisket. I could see like $30, but not. Th- dude, I, $30 is what I spent 
on this weekend. And that was just for me for like a late night snack. I put that food away and I was like, yeah, I could have got more. I should have got some brisket. Yeah. We've also been on the diet too. Also that, been a, yeah, dude. It's like, it's, it's like also like now you're now you're not restricted by this. I, I have a really unhealthy relationship with food right now, and it's a problem. <laughs> it's a problem because I just binge like crazy, and that's all I did this weekend. So I got barbecue for dinner. I, I like we went. I went down there. Uh, we watched. Oh my gosh! I pause real quick. The UFC fight this weekend. Yeah. Did it come across y'all's timelines at all? No. Uh. Uh-uh. Holy crap. Go to Joe Rogan's Instagram page. Sure. To pull up the um the um the stats from the main event. Alright, so the main card, five fights, right? Right. First three fights and then a first round knockout. Dang. Just and it's like the that one. Yeah. <laughs> Just some of like like Dirty knockouts, just like uh, I know for sure one was a head kick. Uh, I think, I think they were all kicks. Am I tripping? Anyways, the main event. Look at these damn numbers. Holy crap! Okay, so all the numbers are for Max Holloway. That's the guy that won. I'm assuming. Right? That's the guy that won. Okay. Okay. Four hundred and forty-five strikes landed. Called it hits. That's a lot. Of that's hits. A, that's a lot. You know what the previous record was? Was him. <laughs> <laughs> At like three something. Right? 290, man. Dude, so significant strike. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah. 290. Um, that was, that's right. Yeah, it was, it's, it's ridiculous amount of numbers. Significant strike attempt, 744 against 415. Distance, 439, 281. Mm-hmm. Head strikes, 274. He hit him in the face 274 times. He just broke a bunch of records. <laughs> and homie didn't go down. He lasted all five rounds. So it's just like Jeez. the oh. the amount of badassness from both parties of just like Holloway landing all those right. hits. And then also Cater just like eating them. And just, oh, uh, and it, it was a little disrespectful. Like in the fifth round, Holloway would just like, he was screaming at the commentators like, I'm the best boxer in the UFC. I'm the... And he's just like yelling. Mind you, in the middle of the fight. Yeah. And so, like, Cater, like, starts, like, chasing him down. He just says, boop, 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 boop. Like, just dodges all of them. Then, like, <laughs> straight right lands on him. He's just like, Jeez. oh, my God. Like, it was, it was, this was the first fight card of 2021. And this is, like, a, a, there's three fights, uh, three cards in a 10-day span. There's a Wednesday card at yeah. noon. So if you come into the office, I might have that pulled up on my phone <laughs> during lunch. <laughs> Don't judge me. You know that that's that's kind of relevant to what I've been watching. I don't watch fights, but I've been watching. I've been watching a lot of Cobra Kai recently. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, in the big, I, I, I've I, been meaning to talk to you about. Anybody watch that? Yet? I mean, I'm, 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 I, I, spoiler yeah, alert! So stop I'm, watching. I'm all caught up. You're all caught up. So spoiler alert! I'll like, catch myself up later. Yeah. Like at the end of season two, the big yes. fight happens. Miguel never sees it coming. I'm pretty sure all those cats shattered all these records right here, man. Honestly. Like, <laughs> Yeah, the, dude, that fight scene was ridiculous. It went so long. Yeah. That fight scene was so long. That's such a good series, though, man. I, like, get so amped up when I watch that. It I've is. Been watching it, like, this weekend. It really grew yeah. on me. And it's 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 terrible. It is absolutely terrible how they've managed <laughs> to keep the Karate Kid universe alive in this series. But it's, my inner 80 child is like, this is the best thing it's ever. It's honestly really impressive. Yeah. Because it's a it's fairly legitimate story. Like, yeah, it's, it is. And now, now I'm at again. Spoiler alert! So if, again, ear earmuffs if you need to. Five, four, a, three, two, one. Yeah. So like now they're painting Crease as a good guy. They're showing his struggles. Yes. And I'm like, this can't be. Like this guy is like a terrible human being, but he's. You've been through some stuff. Yes. Like yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. like, like makes, it, it shows him being a real human being. And that's why like, you're a jerk. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Oh, dude. The the pit. <laughs> Yeah. That was, have you come across that too? Uh, let's see here. Uh, what I just finished. I finished right when Johnny started, again, spoiler alert, it's right when Johnny uh, started the Eagle Fangs Karate. Gotcha. So I'm like, I'm like, I, like, I think I have like okay. three episodes. So it's Eagle coming up. Fangs karate. Yeah. It's coming up. <laughs> yeah. But I just, yeah. I love all of like Johnny's 80s references. Dude. Because <laughs> struggle busting. Yeah. That kid. <laughs> as far as just like character, 
like a character in a whole yeah. as a whole just like where were you the last like 20 know, years man. dog <laughs> that's what that's what the banquet beer does to you i guess also do you th- are, are they sponsored by banquet they have to be sponsored by banquet who knows who can, knows? You, can you look that up see if yeah. it wouldn't surprise me is there's a couple of like little generic sponsorships where i'm like okay y'all must be has to be dude like you would have to be but maybe not i don't know so, but it's, that has been like the hidden gem, I think, of, of COVID, of, of me like like seeing it and people talking it up and like, oh, you should check that out, check that out. I was like, ah, that looks dumb. Then I watched the first episode and then, you know, 20 hours later, it's like, wow, this is awesome. Yeah, I, I'd be, I'd stayed away from it for no like particular reason. I was just like, I don't know, man, that doesn't seem like it's going to be that good of a show. Yeah. But then you told me to check it out and I was like. All right. Because I, I originally... Because that was right when YouTube TV came out. Yes. When they started that. And we had just cut cable. We're like, hey, what streaming service should we get? So I was like, oh, man, you got to get YouTube TV. They got Cobra Kai. I'm like, I'm not buying YouTube TV. That's, for, that's, that's why I didn't start watching For it one like show. TV. Like, yeah. I'm not doing that. And then right when we made the decision to, like, go with Hulu, like, uh, YouTube TV, like, went down... And they like sold all their rights to Netflix, and I was like, "All right, good call on my part. All right, don't get me wrong, Hulu, Smart is, man. Hulu is still trash, but I'm not a fan <laughs> of Hulu. The more I deal with it, it's not the best. No, it's no, absolutely it's not terrible. Not but they do show a lot of Friends reruns, so I can't complain there. Like, I mean, I grew up on Friends. I hate so Friends. I know you hate Friends. I but, love Friends. Yeah, Friends is the best, dude. It's not. You're either a Seinfeld or a Friends guy. I like that's. I think, from my gen- I, I think they're both wildly from overrated. my generation growing up like you were either watching Seinfeld yeah. on Thursdays or you were watching Friends on Thursdays and it was like it was like uh, the Miyagi Do versus the Cobra Kai's man that's how it was <laughs> I'm going Frasier I think that's, Frasier was good too uh, if, if I was in that time yeah I, I'd probably I'd probably lean a little bit oh, more they were all Frasier. NBC shows so it didn't matter I, mean, they, I think they're all was like part of that Thursday night yeah, killer lineup yeah, and they just yeah. like slaughtered it I didn't get into Seinfeld till like after college, because at the time I was like, "This is dumb. I don't under this is. There's I nothing going on in this show." I, yeah. I, I just started watching Seinfeld last yeah. year. It's great. Yeah, the show's really good. <laughs> so if, if you like no, it, it's nothing, I'll, but it's great. Yeah. So if you really like it, I'd be able to manage it. Mm-hmm. Like watching it then when I was younger just made no sense because yeah. they later were like, "Oh, it's a show about nothing." Like we made a show about nothing. It's got to be something. <laughs> You know, but it, it, and it was true. Like after watching the episodes, I mean, I've I've watched like the Soup Nazi yet, so like all the classics, yeah. the Festivus. I mean, that's what everybody remembers also too about you. that. Yeah, and uh, but like watching it now, I'm like, oh, like that is really dumb, but really. Funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess now, like we've had to like you know with all the binging that we've done with TV, it's you're like, ah, I'll, yeah, I'll give this a try. Sure, why not? Yeah. I got nothing else going on. That I mean, that was especially true during the the quarantine. The quarantine months. It's like, yeah, sure. I'll give this a shot. Let's see what happens. 20 episodes in, I'm not buying this. <laughs> <laughs> so, I still, man, like, the the one show that I always come back to is always Mad Men. I don't know why. I still need to watch Mad Men. I haven't watched That's, it. I started it, and I don't know. I just... The first few seasons are slow. Like, they're just, they're just slow. Hmm. Nothing, like, really gets crazy until, like, season three. But it just, like, he ha- they have these lulls where they're just kind of like, there's not much to talk about. Because you got to think, too, like, during the time period, it's, it's, it's depicting there just wasn't a lot happening in certain spe- aspects of the year. Because it covers the 60s. Yeah. It covers a lot of significant events, events during the 60s and how those guys all kind of react and how it impacts them. But you have to kind of catch these subtle little hints. I didn't know that when I first started watching it. Yeah. And as, I, you know, as soon as I started watching, like, the, the, I guess, like, the strategy guides of how to, like, watch Mad Men, watching the videos about it, I was like, oh, if you notice this, this is, like, a nod to so-and-so. I was like, oh, dude, that's... That's deep. I would never would have thought that. So I always go back and rewatch it at least twice a year to like see what else I can catch. Back. Like, oh, that's yeah. that's what that guy was talking about. I think I think okay. I, that's probably the. I'll, I'll give that one another shot. I. Uh, you just you have to commit to it and not fall asleep during the slow parts because <laughs> uh, I fall asleep all the time. Also, I'm just I'm incapable of running multiple shows at the same time. Yeah. So I do one show. Oh, that makes it. sense. Just I mean, I do show. that too. I gave up on Dexter. I'm not gonna lie. I was just, it, no lie. It was just stressing me out. But you got towards the end, right? I got to the fourth season. Okay. Got about halfway through. How many, how many seasons did that end up going? It was like, it's like seven or seven, seven or eight. Yeah. yeah. 
there are a lot of shows like that where I don't ever realize they have that many seasons. Yeah, Dexter was really impressive. Like, like they had a really, really long run. 2006 to 2021? Excuse me, sir. I don't oh, think yeah, that's they, right. they did a, re- a reboot. Yeah, recently. they're supposed to gotcha. reboot it, I think. Yeah. Oh, the, the, I guess there's not. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, nine maybe. Seasons. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it was. I never got. Like, I never got into, like, Entourage. Never got into Dexter. Just because I didn't have HBO at the time. Yeah. 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 You know, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I still don't. But, you know, because I'm cheap. And Hulu is trash. Are you sponsored by Hulu yet? If you want <laughs> not sponsored by Hulu yet. All right, because I'm going to buy a Hulu as trash shirt next time I come on here. And just... That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That'll get some clicks for some. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe we get a cease and desist. Nah, probably not. <laughs> Wait, now nah, because that doesn't involve like marching band license or anything like that. So, <laughs> man, speaking of, if you, I don't. Do you do any supplements? No. 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 It's probably I eat jalapeno chips a lot. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't really supplement anything. <laughs> As a friend. <laughs> I'm just going to say you should probably take a handful of supplements. I've thought about that. Because, like, I mean, like, Shut right... Shut up. You need to take your vitamins, Evan. <laughs> take your vitamins. I used to take Centrum, but then I realized I wasn't, like, 50, so I didn't really need that. <laughs> Actually, that's not a bad one for you to take. And then to get my kids to take their vitamins, I used to get down some Flintstones vitamins. But then they boycotted that, so I stopped. That'd probably make my, 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 my legs feel a whole yeah. lot better. Yeah, they would. Yeah. They would. Just get, you know, some potassium. Just a little handful. I'd probably eat a banana, some too. Some fish oil. Yeah. I, I mean, I probably shouldn't eat a banana every once in a while, but jalapeno chips taste a whole lot better. <sighs> Can't argue with that. I hate all your... <laughs> <laughs> take... It's not that hard to take vitamins. I know it's not hard. It's, it's not just, that hard. Do I want to do it? Probably not. And the bio, that would be smart. The and, bioavailability of potassium and, 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 and versus your, banana. And your, as much knowledge as you have about that, you think I would, like, come and be like, hey, man, like... Why am I tired all the time? What's wrong with me? Nah. I'm all right. <laughs> you did ask me why your back hurt. <laughs> that is but true. But then you were just like, I know why it hurts. I but... know why it hurts. How can I make it stop hurting? <laughs> How can I fix my form? Because I run and I don't lift heavy things. <laughs> it is what it is. Stretching is important. Vitamins are important. I will. T- I, since I have known you, I have taken stretching way more seriously now. Legitimately, I'll take that. Take it. I'll take that as a dub for seriously. you, boy. Like way more seriously. Uh, probably that that was more more true, more so than ever yesterday. Really? Did a, I, so if you guys don't know, I did twenty mile run yesterday. Oh, like just a nice little quick jaunt around Temple. <laughs> twenty <laughs> mile jaunt. Yeah. And the way I had it set up was I had like five to eight mile loops between my house and like as far out as uh, whatever that road is, Airport Road. On Pepper Creek Trail, all that. Yeah. And then I went like uh, to like 317 and Hogan and all this stuff over here where I live. But I had it like all mapped out. I was like, I'll just come back around to the house, get a little uh, whatever that fancy water is that I drink whenever I run. That's the... Uh, liquid IV? Do what? Liquid IV? Not that. It's not liquid IV. It's, uh, of course, now that I think of it, I can't. I just bought like a whole bunch of them. Anyways, it's like, it's like that pH balance. It's not smart water. It's the other one gotcha. opposite of smart water. But it's... Uh, it's, I mean, it's, it's basically a Gatorade, but it's water. But gotcha. so I like, you know, I had like a hydration set up, had my little frog fuel packets, so I get some, some carbs and some protein and not die. Uh, but before I did that, I mean, did a lot of, did a lot of dynamic stretching. You'd be proud of that. So proud. Did a lot of like static stretch, a lot of ho- uh, holds, poses, just to get the body warmed <laughs> up for the amount of abuse it was about to take. And when I, when I got done, I could not... As I stood up to like bend over to stretch out my back, I was like, uh, I have no more flexibility. It is all done. All right. <laughs> I'll take it. Yeah. I'll take that. I feel like I should. That's maturity. That's a growth that on is. my part. So proud of you. Yeah. Oh my God. Just take your vitamins and stretch. <laughs> stretch daily, two times a day. I'll probably start taking vitamins in about six years when I realize I should probably start taking vitamins. <laughs> 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 when your knees start to fall apart because you don't have any more cartilage in there? Actually, like, I've had, like, scans done on my knees because I've had, like, knee problems before. Yeah. Uh, and I, like, went and saw, like, a, a legit doctor, uh, a sports doctor yeah. over at uh, Ascension Healthcare. And he, they, like, scanned him and he, like, put up the x-ray and the MRI. And he's like, yeah, knees look good. They look healthy. They look strong. I was like, thank God. 
All right. That way, you know, in like 10 years, I'll need, I won't need bionic knees. And he's yeah. like, you probably attribute that to not doing anything other than just marching. Because he knows I'm a marching yeah. band. He's like, you, you just did band, right? I was like, yeah. Yeah, just did band. Yeah. He goes, yeah, you got you got plenty of life on those knees still. You're good, man. You did not an athlete, so you got plenty of life on those. <laughs> plenty of life on them yeah. knees. You're just getting started. I was like, all right, yeah. Must so, be nice, man. It is nice. I'm younger. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, it still hurts. I'm younger than you, and my body falls. It's been falling <laughs> apart much more than yours. It's very yeah. frustrating. But you also you did sports ball. I also did sports ball. Whereas I just did band ball. <laughs> I chose wisely. Ultimately, yeah. I mean, I didn't really gain much from doing all, this, all the years of sports ball other than the copious amounts of injuries. Yeah. Never broke a bone, though. But you knew after that you had to take vitamins and stretch. Yeah, I understand the importance of vitamins <laughs> and supplements. So take your vitamins, kids. But you did soccer for many, yeah. many much years. Yeah. I, I came Evan doesn't fine. believe in vitamins. Came out fine, so <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't believe in vitamins. And new guy Chris over here did years of swim, and he Dude, doesn't believe in vitamins. I, don't I, don't, vitamins. I never said I don't believe I don't in them. I just don't take to them. Swim though. Yeah, that, that, that's that's what I'm. That is literally like one of the most low impact sports you can you can endure in. Just kind of oh yeah, I feel fine, dude. I, I don't get me wrong. I I took swimming lessons like legitimately up until I was like eighteen years old. And like the coach, I, I didn't, I didn't do swim in high yeah. school, but coach was like, all right, we're gonna like it'd be over at UMHB. He's like, all right, get in the pool, do twenty lap warm up freestyle. I'm like, oh my god, that's the warm up. I'm gonna die, you know. But when you get when you finish, you're like, oh, god, I'm tired. Like you're sweating in the pool, but you're like, yeah. oh, I'm tired. And you get out on the land, you're like, oh, I feel pretty good. All right, yeah, yeah, this is good. I should do this more often. Ah, not really. Yeah, I was thinking that the other day. I was like, maybe like your workouts are like that they create a need for vitamins. No, <laughs> your body creates a need for vitamins. It's because you're deficient in vitamins and nutrients. Yeah, I hate y'all so much. I, I see your point. I really do see your point. I have I have taken on more of your wisdom as I've worked with you longer. I'm like, maybe maybe I should try that. He's right. I should try that. I try it one time. I was like, oh, I feel pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it works. I'm like, I'll be damned. He's right. Look. Look at that. And then I'm like, I can't afford that next week. So we're going to do without vitamins for a while. That's also fair. <laughs> I was like, when I stopped drinking soda next week, I felt amazing. That's, that's a game changer. It's yeah. feel great when you don't drink so sugar water. Coming yeah. out of, going out of high school into college, I think I drank like eight Dr. Peppers a day. I know Ooh, so uh, many people who do that. Yeah. My, I'm, I'm <laughs> huh. Uh, that's One, too like much. guilty, yeah. Like wow. breakfast, double fist in it, right? Wow. Lunch, man, yeah. Three times through the, the, the machine at the student union building, you know, just like, yeah, all right, yeah. Charged up, let's do this. Wow. And then one day I was like, God, why do I feel miserable all the time? Because <laughs> <laughs> it's not because I had the meal plan that allowed you to get three bean burritos at Taco Bell. That's surely not it for every meal. That's definitely not it. <laughs> <laughs> definitely the eight Dr. Peppers a day. And we were do- like we were Dr. Pepper school. So like Dublin Dr. Pepper was just down the road from us. Mm. And you could like stroll up and get like a free can from the, the soda shop. They give, you, they give you like you show your ID, you get a free drink. And I'd be like, hey man, you gonna use your ID today? Let me get that. Let me get that natural sugar over there. Let me get that. <laughs> it's like, dude, you already had like six. I'm on track. I've got to get eight in today, man. <laughs> you get your eight glasses of Dr. Pepper a day. <laughs> But they have that slogan, like the old school slogan is like 10, 2, and 4. Me is like 10, 12, 1, 2, <laughs> 4, 8, 9, 1 before bed, you know? Got I'm that pretty, nightcap I'm of pretty Dr. Sure, Pepper. I'm pretty sure my pee was radioactive at that point. <laughs> it definitely wasn't good. No, it definitely wasn't. And I didn't understand that until I took fitness walking class. And he's like, let's talk about hydration. As I'm chugging back my Dr. Pepper, he's like, if you drink, if you cut out all sugar, and he like had like all the, the fun displays of like, if you drink this many Cokes a day, here's how much sugar goes in your body. And I was like, that's a lot of sugar, dude. It's not good. I should change something with my life. <laughs> so I changed it to two bean burritos a day and knocked it down one Dr. Pepper to seven. And then at steps. one point, at one point, I'm kind of like you in this sense where if I'm going to do something, I'm just going to cut it out. Yeah. And just like deal with the repercussions. I cut Dr. Pepper cold turkey like uh, like two weeks later. Damn, son. I just remember being like, you know, everything was true. I was like, I had headaches, had the headaches, had the jitters, the mood swings. 
<laughs> I'd be like, you all right, man? I was like, I haven't had Dr. Pepper yet. Shut up. But like once I got out of it. L- legit withdrawals. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Man, legit withdrawals. And the guy was like, you should just like have a little sip. Like, no, 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 no I can't. I can't. I can't do it. So like to counteract the Dr. Pepper, my beer intake went up a lot. Naturally. And I think what I missed was like just the, the, the fuzziness, the <laughs> yeah. fizz of the drink. The fizzy, fizzy water. Because I tried like fancy, we didn't have like fancy fizzy water that we have now. Yeah. If, they did, if we did, it wasn't around in Steve. I think the only Texas. thing that was probably around there was probably like Perrier. Probably, know. yeah. Yeah, definitely that. Maybe Le Croix. And I, I don't think Tapo Chico would like made its way into probably not. Texas at that point yet. But like I remember trying a fizzy water and I was like, this tastes terrible. Why would anybody want to... It's like, oh, man, it's still bubbles in your mouth and like you should feel like... So I was like, this tastes like trash. This makes me want a Dr. Pepper even more now. <laughs> <laughs> but like, yeah, for like eight years, man, cut it cold turkey and then someone's like, hey, you should have a Mexican Coke. That like changed my <laughs> life completely. <laughs> and now that's that's a safe bet for lunch. Yeah, that is... If we're somewhere with a Mexican Coke, yeah, I would like all of it, please. Just... Please and thank you. Yeah. I still haven't had one yet, and I'm pretty. Be pretty careful. Pr- pretty proud about that. Yeah. yeah. Be careful with that. That's a lethal. Again, I'd, as as I, as I've stated before, I, I can binge pretty quickly on food, and it is a problem. Yeah. Mexican Coke, though, man. Now that's just. That's just a dream in a bottle. <laughs> it's so good. I had I had a strong relationship with Mexican Cokes in like sophomore year of high school. Yeah. Just got a. Like, my parents would ask me, like, I think for Christmas one year, I did, like, I opted as a president for, like, a 24-pack of Mexican, of Mexican Cokes. Man. That'd be, like, last me, like, three days, man. Yeah. Luckily. You gotta drink Mexican Coke responsibly, though. You can't just, like... Yeah. Cause... I, I knew that I was dying as yeah. I was drinking it, so I was like, I need to, just, like, maybe one a day. But, man, I cherish that one glass. So yeah, good. you really like if and if you get it, this is how much of a Mexican Coke snob I can be. Like you gotta chill it to the right temperature. Yes. You want it just before freezing, and you let it sit out for a little bit, let it get a little condensation, and it just like it's the right temperature. It just hits different, man. Yeah, same thing. I mean, all those glass glass bottle pure sugar drinks, Big Red, the Double Dr Pepper, all that stuff, man. You just chilled at the right temperature, it just changes your life for at least like twenty minutes. Yeah, and then you go back to normal. Normal life. Normal yeah. day-to-day nonsense. Yeah. Not sugary life. <laughs> you know what was super dis- disappointing when they got rid of the glass ca- uh, container? Snapples. They still have the glass containers. Where? Just not New if, York. If you get the, um, the, like, the pack of the six bottles, yeah. those are still glass. They I actually be, I just think, bought yeah. one, and I have glass bottles at my house right now. I didn't know that until I like went and picked up the pack, and I was like, oh, the, these are the good ones. I know what you're talking about. Why did you like, tell me that, Chris? Because like, because Snapple's like in New York, and New York has these weird rules about like drink containers and everything oh, like really? that. Really? Oh yeah, they do. Yeah. Oh. Like uh, like plastic bottles in New York can't be bigger than like twelve ounces or something. Mm. It's a it's a recycling requirement or something like that. That's crazy. I'm not making that up. I don't think I am. I could huh. be. I don't know. Check on the interwebs and find out. See what see what the interwebs. So we say. got Evan here. Yeah. Here but like, I'm pretty sure they have some kind of container rules that they have to abide by and I like the glass bottles are no longer allowed I think huh which is a bummer because like that glass bottle makes all the it keeps it colder for a longer period of time more so yeah. than plastic bottles do and it just, it just tastes better now like I'm I, I feel like I sound so snobbish when I talk about stuff like that but I'm at a point in my life where I want my drink to taste a certain way yeah. I want my pizza to taste a certain way what's your and, favorite pizza pizza yeah just pizza <laughs> pizza, <laughs> pizza. pizza. Pizza, Domino's, pizza. Papa John's, um, Dom, Pizza that's, Hut. That's trash. Dude. I know that's, it is. I know all. it's. But in everybody's got scheme. Everybody's so got, got their my, base my, level. My grand go-to yeah. is Pizza Hut pan pizza. Are you serious? Whoa, yeah. that's a first. That's a first. That's a, huh? That that's like that's it's just something about it. I think because we've had so much Domino's in like band settings that I just I've like, never got tired of it. I'm always I tired of Domino's. it. I look at Domino's and I'm like, I want to throw you on the ground. Hmm. Kids are like, Mr. Man, would you like a slice? Don't talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do Papa John's. I like Papa John's. Okay. That's like number two on my on my list of cheap pizza yeah. to, to deal with. 
Uh, what really? else we got you around like here? Pizza Hut. Yeah, dude, I'm I'm loyal, man. Book book it, baby. I got that book it pen. You just give me that pan pizza personal when you read enough books. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. So you just love putting trash in your body. Yeah, who doesn't? <laughs> Touche. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I know you're your big, big advocate for mod. I'll, I'll do mod. Like, mod is good. I like, like, mod is just, I, that's like the subways of pizza. You yeah, know, and it's yeah. it's good. It's a nice, easy choice. I like everything about mod except for the dough. The dough is, the dough is like Blaze, Blaze pizza. I don't know if you had yeah, Blaze pizza I haven't yet. had Blaze yet. It's But okay. since you said that, it's I'm not going to eat it. It's not like, I, I probably wouldn't again. That's and it's just... I remember like somebody telling me, like, oh, we got a Blaze pizza. And I was like, oh, yeah, Blaze. Man, let's go check this out. You know, I used to give it the one, two. And looking around, I was like, all right, yeah, good setup here. I like the oven back there. Okay. A little bit of Fire Street, a Trino pizza, pizzeria vibe, all that stuff. Yeah. Eat, take a bite. I was like, I don't want to eat this anymore. That bad? Just immediately? It's not terrible. Just but immediately I mean, disappointing? Yeah, just, it wasn't, the guy that hyped it up to me made it sound like it was God's gift to pizzerias. And I was like, this is not very good. My kids ate it, so I feel like that's a win. So, I mean, that's a something. So, it's important, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, because like, kid, my kids won't eat Pizza Hut. So, they, right. they acknowledge that. So, they know what's too. up. Yeah, they, they know what's up. They'll eat. <laughs> so they'll eat <laughs> smart kids. Yeah. They'll eat Domino's, they'll eat Papa John's. Yeah. You've got to, like, you know, sucker them into eating Pizza Hut. But, like, yeah, when I when I heard about Blaze, I was like, oh, like, okay, let's see what it is. And the guy in line was like, well, this is the closest one. Uh, the closest one to us is awesome, but we got this one now. It's like, oh, this, so this must be good. Like, you look like you know things about pizza. All right, let's do this. And get that bite. I was like, I don't want to eat this. It's nothing about it. No. It just, it just, it, the, 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 I think the guy just, like, hyped it up. Like, because everywhere I go, like, if it's a new pizza place, you just judge it on the, I judge it on the base. Like, which pepperoni pizza tastes like? Yeah. Yeah. How, it's not hard to mess up a pepperoni. And me, I'm all about, I want a good ratio of cheese to pepperoni. Mm-hmm. And I just think on Blazes, it was like Super a, important. a pepperoni here. One there, a lot of cheese space. I'm like, dude, you could have like anchored this in pepperoni a little bit here, done a little bit here. So, and that's why I, I think that's why I was just like turned off by it. Yeah, I can't. I can't go to a place that's selfish with toppings. Right. I don't need you to like confetti it. You don't need I, confetti. I, I just. Need, I need, I don't, and I, need I don't it. need symmetry either because I'm not one of those weirdos. So. Yeah. No. <laughs> That was a problem when I worked at Domino's. It had yeah. to be symmetrical when I was making it. and But then I would realize, I was like, this isn't, nobody wants to eat this. This is not conducive. This is stressful to look at. Like post, <laughs> It's got to look a little dirty. It's yeah, post-cooking, yeah. when you just see like even circles, like all the way around, you're just like, that's not good. Yeah. You'd cut it and it's still, you could see the shapes and you're like, oh. No. But like if I, if, I mean, because it's close to our house. It's it's not expensive. I, I mean, I'd probably eat that. I'm not gonna like turn down pizza. It'll be an easy one for. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna turn it down for a Thursday. Yeah, yeah. just a quick like. All right, yeah, cool. I'll just run in there and grab something. Yeah. Like their their garlic bread is awesome. I mean, okay. it's like life changing. We love a good garlic bread. Yeah, man. Like it's it's like really good, but just the pizza overall. I was like, ah, oh, like all right, I'm, I'll I'll try something else. And for, I, I I do, man. I just I wish like Fire Street would open up. For longer hours. I still haven't been to Fire Street. That's the one. Have you been to Fire Street? Yeah, yeah. Have you been to Fire Street? Okay, I'm the guessing the only one. It's good. No, I haven't been either. Okay. What, what have you been doing? Well, new guy Chris is. We've established over the past like 20 or so episode. Yeah. Very uncultured <laughs> in food. It took you 20 episodes to figure that out. <laughs> well, it was just like <laughs> this thing would come up, that thing would come up. Oh, that's true. Just no, nah, I haven't tried that. Well, new guy Chris is nah. still young too, so I mean. Yeah. Well, we just des- decided that. It is now our duty to, to, to culture him in the foods. Yeah. But, like, Fire Street is one of those places that you go for the vibe. You go for yeah. the atmosphere. Okay. You go for the outdoor vibes. It's like vibes. strong family vibes, right? Very, yeah, very strong, strong family vibes. Very yeah. strong. And it's great for the kids. It's great for the adults. There's something for you to do, something there for the minions to do and the kids to do and all kinds of other stuff. They usually have great music playing at all times. They, okay. have, a, they have a good beer selection. That doesn't mean anything to you. They got they got good wines up there. They have okay. they do like mimosas on Saturdays and Sunday mornings and stuff Love like a good that. Mimosa. So, I mean it's like it's and the the owners are just really nice people. I remember like when they were just a food truck, I would like stalk them on Facebook. Like, Where's your food truck gonna be today? Because I'm coming to you. Like I will find you. Yeah. You know? And uh but you know, I just I they I think they're only open like Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Really? And you know, okay. like like when my birthday was on, I remember, I think my birthday was on a Wednesday or Tuesday this year, and Jennifer was like, What do you want for your birthday? I was like Really go for some fire street right now, but they're closed. So I guess we'll eat blaze. <laughs> <laughs> well, what are their hours? 
Wow, they are. Oh, jeez. Yeah. But Thursday, Thursday Friday, Friday, Saturday, Saturday Sunday. Sunday. And, like, they're, like, hopping on all those days. Damn. Not Probably not right now. Like, with can COVID. You pull, yeah, can you pull that, pull up the, their website? They got, like, sure, a proper yeah. website? Yeah, 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 they, yeah, they got a proper website, yeah. Where's, where's it at? It is off uh, 439. It's right next to Trino. No, 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 not this. This is, like, out in the... Oh, different place. This is, like, place. out in the country, yeah. Oh, different place. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you thinking about? Are you thinking about Benny's? No, I was thinking about the, the pizza place right, right, right next to Trino. The, um, what's it called? Uh, uh, that's First Street Roasters. It's coffee first, and beer. First, 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 street, coffee. Yeah, I'm thinking of first, first street, street is the coffee joint. Yeah. yeah. Trino is the pizza joint. Trino is the pizza joint. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what do you want to see on the website? Uh, just like what their pizzas look like. It literally like a little feeds. Uh, do the hit hit the menu up there. There you go. Uh, but just I mean it's like a, I think like an eleven inch pie, 11, 12 inch feeds two people. They don't got pictures of it. Okay. Nah, they no do pictures. Not. But I mean, it's just like some great great stuff, and okay. they like don't play around with it either. Right. I mean, it's it's similar to Trino. It's all that wood fire. That's like the rage now. Is all the wood fire. It makes pizza it better, and stuff man. like that. Yeah, yeah, no, it does. It yeah, it there better. you go. Yeah. Uh, all their pizzas. Okay. I mean, that's their pepperoni. The one I like to get is the Brooklyn. So it's got the fennel sausage and the pepperoni. Oh. Yeah. Oh, man. That looks yeah. like the. Yeah. Not the, like the super thin pizza, like yeah. Mott's do. It's is the it? uh, it's like the artisan style pizza. Yeah. yeah. See, I'm more of a fan of that and like deep dish. I'm not. I'm not a big thin thin crust person. Thin crust is trash. Yeah. Like, Mons is pretty good. Theirs isn't super thin, but yeah. it's, a, it's a little on the thin See, side. See, but I eat thin crust to kind of hold back on some calories. Because I feel like I'm being responsible. <laughs> Eating my trash. Healthy pizza. I understand, yeah. The, <laughs> this vehicle for the, li- <laughs> the lie you tell yourself for thin pizza. Yeah. But On Dr. Pepper number five. <laughs> if, if you tell me you ordered a thin, pe- a thin crust pizza for any other reason than that, if you're just like, no, 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 like, I just... Thin prefer, crust is the way to go. I prefer thin crust. I can't be friends That's with you. That's always my excuse, no matter what. Like, yeah. oh, I'm going to go thin crust because I'm going to hold back a little bit. Yeah, just get a I little... Want, I don't want to feel as bloated. A hundred less calories. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I knew somebody who got thin crust, and I was like, this is like a snack. This isn't... Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's not good. What you need to check out, man, this is... Uh, look, check out Via 313 Pizza. God. That's down That's in Austin. That's the Detroit... That's the Detroit, Detroit style pizza. If there's some place that they, I know about that we need to go to, yeah. is that this this joint? Yeah, because like that is I don't know how we found that. I just saw my my pizza. Yeah, that right there. That, that's their pepperoni, yeah, man. Because the they Brooklyn. do the little pepperonis, and then underneath all that is the bigger pepperoni. Yes, good Brooklyn style. Yes, man. and it just no no no. This is Detroit style. Oh, Detroit style. Yeah, yeah. because and, they do it in the pan. Yeah. Uh, like like a square pan, yeah. as like like similar to like a deep dish, but. What they do is they just do the, the the dough, and then they do toppings, and then they do cheese, then they do toppings, and then they and do sauce, sauce yeah. in um, rows. And you can, get, you can get, like, your traditional style pizza there. But, yeah. like, I've, I don't know how I found that place. Somebody just, like, posted a picture of it, and I was like, I have to eat that. Like, I got to go try this out. It was super random. A homegirl had invited, like, like, I was friends with her, but she invited my boy. Yeah. And I happened to be in town, so he's like, "Do you want to go?" I was like, "Hell yeah, dude! Yeah, I'm down to go go for a ride." Went there, I was like, "Yo, <laughs> game changer!" Because yeah. I'd, I'd never, I've never heard of Detroit style. Neither had I. Pizza, yo, it's an hour twenty, bro. Let's go tomorrow. Which one is that? Is that <laughs> yeah. Nah, not tomorrow. It's an hour. No, but they like started off as like a food truck or something down really? there, and then they like built like two brick and mortars after that, and it's just yeah. like, man, they're. Like, that's what I was going to do on my, my, my one-day sabbatical. I was like, I'm going to go eat some pizza there, and I'm just going to get my life in order and make life a whole lot better for myself. And then I didn't, and I, I don't remember what I ate for. I ate, like, crappy pizza that day. <laughs> it happens. This is Man, Uh yeah. uh your girl Ellie tried to talk bad on Treno, and I was about to fight her. And I, that place is good. And, 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 and I, like, I, like, I gave her like the argument. It was when she was like eating. Of course, she was like eating one of those trash like burgers for lunch because like all yeah. them kicking them off. Is, I was like, first off, you, you're eating cardboard That's for true. lunch. Yeah. So I'm not going to take. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to take what you say about flavor. Right. Too serious. But then, like, I was explaining it. She's like, okay, that's fair. I also still haven't gotten all my taste buds back. And I was like, yeah, okay. So, so you don't get an, a, an opinion here. Right. Yeah. Come on now. Don't try to tell me. Like, I have studied pizza over, <laughs> over the country. I don't, I don't have many strong opinions. 
I have very strong opinions about pizza. <laughs> The, the pizza I got from Trinos, I wasn't a fan of, but I tried, like, everybody else's pizza. Those ones were good. It was just yeah. the one that you gotta I got. You got to eat, like, with Trino, you got to eat that, like, right then and there. That's not yeah. one, like, you get in the car, you take yeah, it home, you and you let it sit for, like, five minutes. Well, we didn't do that. And, and, then, man, you, like, and then the toppings it. get a little dicey. Yeah. Um, the one, I, I got the Jimmy two times, and it's kind of like yeah. that. It, it, it's got the pepperoni. The the sliced sausage and like onions. Yeah. And that was the one that I got the first time. And like, I just, like, yeah. Just demolished it. Then I got this spicy chicken one this last time. You got to get the uh, the brisket pizza. Brisket. That's, that was, yeah, oh. that's what Mia got. And I tried that one out. Because the, the, the guy who does the meat for that uh, used to work, his wife used to work at Travis as a science teacher. Mm-hmm. And he does like, he has like this award winning brisket. And he like, He's like one of the uh, the guy who owns Trino sources out to like local people Hell for yeah. his toppings, and he go he like he knows that guy and makes good brisket. He's like, hey man, I want that on my pizza. We'll, we'll give you credit and everything for it. So yeah, Hell yeah, that's he sources badass. that out. Yeah, it's man, it's so good. Do the dudes that run Trino are like just feel like really good people? Yeah, they, I mean they are great people, man. They're they're hometown yeah. hometown guys. It's super dope. You know the guy. It's it's Jacob, and he I mean he owns Bird Creek, owns Trino and, and Fire Street Roasters. So I mean like all yeah. this First Street Roasters, all this he just like. He understands like the quality that really helps thrive Temple downtown. Yeah. I think with with him doing what he's doing, got got a nice little renaissance down there. Yeah, it, I, it feel it feels on the come up. I think I think there Definitely needs to be is. like one or two more restaurants to open up. I, there's like uh, I know that there's talks of some. There's like stuff. a Korean Mexican joint, like Mexican Korean or Mexicali or something. I don't remember what the name it is. Oh, but, yeah, uh, Korean. We found that, or I found. But it's that. literally yeah. right next to Trino. Just right, the building right over. Really? There. Yeah. Huh. So that's gonna be that's like I think that's gonna be really good. Like okay. their menu looked fairly good. Uh, what was the name of that one there? I don't remember what it's called. Little... Mexico Cafe. There you go. Mexico that's Cafe. the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like I think that's gonna be a good addition. Okay. Uh, well, there's a soul food joint around the block from Trano. Is there really? Yeah. Yeah, I got it for oh the uh, barbecue place. Yeah, the it, it's oh, soul food slash barbecue. About, yeah. I, I I got it for him when he was uh, when he was in lockdown. Yeah. And I didn't get a chance to try it because that was like the week before, like two weeks yeah. before my show. But just like I looked at it and I was like, mm, it was good. <laughs> Damn it. This looks awesome. <laughs> so what is what, it's like a it's a, a mix of tradition, tr- uh, traditional like Korean food and traditional Mexican food. They do like a blend on the menu of some of the things. Huh. Do they have a menu posted? Uh, no, I think I they, they should somewhere on there. They, they posted something a couple weeks ago about it. Looks like they don't have like so, a website website. But, uh, oh, there you go. There's there a menu go. right there. There's man. a menu. So they like they'll do wings on they do like tacos for the Mexican entrees for for most of that, but they'll have like beef the, bulgogi tacos. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. I like okay. That. Mexico style pork tacos, pork Mexico style torta, quesadilla. Okay. Yeah, like it. It looks pretty good, and I'm not. So not it's like a Mexican it. base with some Korean flair right. on it. Yeah. Kim, ooh, they got a kimchi fried rice. Yeah, man. Gee, okay. So it's like it's it's that's another good addition coming to downtown. Right. So I mean, there's a lot of stuff on the up and up coming. I'm, yeah, I'm here for it, man. So I don't know. It should be. I'm kind of excited about it. Yeah. You know, like there's some good things coming. Different computer, this, these things did not exist when I was in Temple hmm. at your age. <laughs> I feel so old saying at your age. Well, there was back uh, in my day. I just tell kids to get off my lawn. I was about to say <laughs> when when you were in high school, what you had. The high school? Uh, so we had the high school. The Arby's? Oh, oh yeah. Ar- we had Arby's, Taco Bell. <laughs> that Arby's Shipley's was... was still there. I don't know how that Arby's is still alive. I'm always that Arby's. We, like we so were talking sketch, about that one dude. episode. Yeah. yeah. We think it's a, a government thing. Yeah. <laughs> Same with Long John Silver's. Yeah. It's Actually, it's I am surprised. It's either government funded or it's a uh, drug front. I yeah. am surprised Long John Slivers has lasted that long. <laughs> I don't know how the one about the school is even still open. I've never seen anybody here's, there. Here's what I don't get. Grandy's used to be where Chick-fil-A is. Mm-hmm. Why would Grandy's ever go away? I don't know what Grandy's is. I've never heard oh of it. Oh, my God. Grandy's, mm-hmm. Grandy's just like old-fashioned southern comfort food. Really? Literally that you, went away? You order food, comes smothered in gravy. I don't eat gravy, but it just comes <laughs> Come smothered in gravy. <laughs> Yeah. I didn't order gravy. It comes with It just gravy. comes with it. Like, oh, if you don't want it, just slop it off. Like, oh, man. All right. You know. But, yeah. Like, Grandy's was, like, a great restaurant. Like, a great breakfast. Uh, just anything. 
Okay. Anything. And then Damn. uh right Shame it went under then. Uh right across from what's now Tapa Tapas, uh that I don't know Is that said, Mongolian joint? It's not the Mongolian joint. It's in that like red and yellow building. Right next right on the other side of it. Gotcha. I like behind that. the hotel. Yeah, 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 yeah. That used to be Mr. Gaddy's. Yes. How can Mr. Oh. Gaddy's not stay alive? Like that's That's interesting. That's that's, heart- be, that's just gonna be poor management. That's like heartbreaking because yeah. that was like the go to in high yeah. school, you you pay your five dollars for the buffet back when buffets only costed five dollars. <laughs> a five dollar buffet. Yeah, oh, man. Those are the days. You know, but like we would go there all the time. That was like, yeah, man. Hell and yeah. We'd like, hey, can we get a to go box? And we just load that sucker up, man. <laughs> Wait, pause. What's your thought on CC's? Are you asking me now as a parent and a full fledged adult? Are you asking me? <laughs> Uh, as a I, 16 to 24 year old I'm asking you as a singular man at your proper age now it's about as trash as Hulu <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> but because it's pizza you put it in front of me I'm not going to say no to it I'm s- it. <laughs> because, because 16 to 24 year old Marcus would, that was like Wednesday, Thursday, Friday meal. Every dinner. Me and my buddy, my buddy Jeff, always at CC's. We didn't, <laughs> always we, at CC's? We didn't have to like tell, we just walk in and be like, all right, cool, we got pepperoni coming, we got Alfredo coming, it's coming, guys, we got your own pies coming. I'm like, all right, yeah, cool, that's right. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, all right, all right. We were just regulars. I I'm not proud of it. I'm not proud of it, but there's know. also a reason why I pushed 200 pounds in high school. Yeah, I'll do it. Yeah. That definitely did it. With my eight Dr. Peppers. Because that was usually Dr. Peppers five through eight mm. to wash it all down. <laughs> and somebody posted on Facebook like a like a CC's challenge of like you eat a, like a 32-inch pizza. Oh, I've seen that before. Seen that? And I was like, like, that looks easy. I'm like, dude, that's light work. That's it? I'm all over yeah. that. And you got to like drink a 32-ounce Dr. Pepper? And you can do it with like two people. Are we going to make this a challenge? Did, did they mean to say two of them? No. No, it's probably that. There it is right there. Yeah. That, I don't know, I don't know what you get right for there. it. But this one? I think you, I mean, you I mean, get like 50 bucks for like it. Probably like any of those challenges. You just get the pride uh, of like get, get the meal free. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Peace no, challenge. It's a good fail. But it's, I mean, it's. Well, you you looked up on Facebook, dog. Well, Look yeah, up yeah, on exactly Google. Facebook. You fool. <laughs> But I would, I, I would, I would still eat CCs. I'm not. I have. I will give all pizza equal opportunities at any given time. But now, just because my body functions differently and I'm older, yeah, I, I would not survive like a lot of CCs. I mean, I would put away like three or four pizzas, like whole pizzas. Yeah, a 28 inch pizza and a 32 ounce drink. Yeah, that's light work, that's dude. 28 in an inches. hour. But the friend, come on. Yeah, yeah that's that's easy. <sighs> Like, are they trying to make it easy? I don't understand. I could do that for, for funsies. Then I can yeah. go get some barbecue afterwards. <laughs> yeah. But, like, that would, like those two guys right there in that picture, that'd be me and my buddy Jeff. <laughs> With our own 28 inches, just, like, hanging out. Like, oh, yeah, man, we're just chilling. We're cool. We're good. Yeah, it doesn't look that hard. Just get, a, get the prize every day. Yeah, man. I don't know what the prize would be, but, I mean, it's... Doesn't feel like it would be worth it. Yeah, see, that I looks really small. I, the thing I would struggle with is the thirty-two ounce drink. I'll be honest with you. If it could really? be a water all day, yeah. Oh, oh I, yeah. I can't. I can't put thirty-two ounces of coke away like that, man. Come on now. I mean, maybe they have a sprite, but see, definitely if, not. If it had to be a soda, syrup. if it had to be a soda, I'd have to get well, a like sprite. A, like yeah. Coke Zero or something. Oh, that just feels gross in the mouth, man. That's fake ass sugar. Don't disrespect me like that, man. Wait, so uh, like Whataburger, like what kind of drink do you get? Uh, you should get Powerade. Blue Powerade. Oh, okay. Blue Powerade. I'm, I'm with you. If on they that. don't, if they don't have Blue Powerade, then I gotta go Sweet Tea. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Well, yeah. Oh, CC says Powerade then. So you're, oh, for real? You're good. Okay, then I. Should I think the drink is like your choice. Okay. But even it, with water, it, that's damn. Still... Why'd you say Whataburger? God damn it. <laughs> I, yeah, I was thinking about getting some of that after this. That's what I want to go get. Yeah. Uh, do I hate myself enough? I, I, I made up for yesterday's run by treating my body like very, very badly today. With, <laughs> I think I made myself four breakfast tacos. a boy. Hmm. Yeah. Don't feel bad about it. You know, it's like, I, what I, I don't remember what I burned yesterday. Let's see here. I think it was like almost like 2,400 calories. <laughs> Jesus, son. And like, you know, we'd have like, we had our post run beer. Yeah. Anything like that. Like you, you earn that one. Like yeah. yours. Yeah. Hell yeah. Nice post run beer. 
call it a day. And I was just really bummed because it was so close to lunchtime. I get ready to go teach lessons. I was like, man, I'm really hungry. But I like don't have time to like go get like a monster burrito from free. Or just something just like full of calories. Yeah. To, like replenish everything I was missing. So I just had like this little snack or lunch and everything as a top lesson. I was like, uh. I just feel like death. I don't. Everything hurts because there's not enough nutrition in me. <laughs> Vitamins don't fix that all the time. <laughs> I'll give you that. I will give you that. But I would, I would do CC's. Okay. I, like I have, I have a deep history. There's a connection CCs. there. There is, and I feel like I de- I deserve to give the CC's respect it deserves. Do you ever eat the salad or pasta? It's a pizza joint. I didn't go to eat pasta and salad. <laughs> Correct. Right. Thank you. Pizza, pasta. That's like going salad dessert. It that, says it on the sign. It's like going to Mexican joints. They're like, oh, would you like a hamburger? No, nah, man, I'm here for the <laughs> here for the tacos. If you get American food at a Mexican restaurant, no. When Probably. you have kids, that changes. Because you're yeah. like, hey, I just need a plate of french fries, man. That's all we need. I mean, yeah, but yeah. if you're going there as an adult and getting some chicken tenders, like... <laughs> anybody. So this is this is my big thing with new guy Chris, is that he's just never allowed to eat chicken tenders. Oh, I, I don't, don't get chicken I know, tenders. I know he doesn't get there, but just like, <laughs> if he ever goes out to eat with me, yeah, and he orders chicken tenders, I'm going to smack the back. There's like a look One time I'm getting chicken tenders if it's at like... Pluckers, somewhere that's known that for that. Sense. That's fair. All right. That makes sense. You got a wing place, you get you get tenders, you get wings, you, yeah. get, you yeah. get chicken. Yeah. You don't go to Bush's Chicken to get a burger. Are boneless wings wings? I mean, they're like wing nuggets, like nuggies. I prefer boneless. You prefer boneless? How dare you? <laughs> they're just easier to eat. Okay, but they taste like trash. I, I know that. I, I'm there for the as, sauce, as, not for as, the meat. As a fellow like boneless enthusiast, I, I don't know. I, I like I'll do it with the. I have to be like be in the right mindset for the yeah. for the bone in. Yeah. Like if we're like if we're yeah. doing like a working lunch, I'm not about to go chow down on like wings right, yeah. with bone in because that's fair. No man, okay. looking somewhat profession. I, I will be wearing that when it's over. <laughs> it's fair. So you, you become a different human whenever you eat like boneless or bone yeah. in. Boneless, so bone in. I'm like. We're about to watch a game. Like we're right. about, to, about to do. Yeah, some, I'll get bone in like during that. Do some dude, bro stuff here. I, I, you know I, what I, mean? I ordered wings last night and I did feel a little weird eating them. Right. In in, in the setting. Uh, Would you watch football at least? No, I was just kind of. Ch- the, the football game was in the background, so oh, that's that kind of like that like counts. we got to the joint, and it was it was my old bar in San Marcos. Yeah. Um, because they were supposed to have a shrimp and lobster boil. Right. And I was just like, dude, oh. And like back in the day, they the the same people that do crawfish boils. I was like, yo, if it's if it's just like a crawfish boil, I know it's gonna be a one. Got there and it was it was a one, but so then they sold out, and I was like, well, damn. But so we just ended up getting regular menu stuff, and we were sitting there chatting with some friends that just pulled into town as well. They ordered like normal stuff like burger, quesadilla, sure, catfish, and then I got wings because I was like, yo, you gotta get the like the wings from here. The best. Well, if but, they say they're the best, then you, that's like a, you guys a challenge. Like, well, we'll, we'll see about that. Uh, objectively speaking, sure. as a former cook and bartender from there, I was like, these these wings far surpass like any other wing spot in sure. San Marcos. So I was like, I hadn't got had them in a while, a long time, and I got them. And of course, I was the last person to order food. So then there was that added bonus of just that kind of awkwardness, and like, I was like, ah, yeah, it was a little <laughs> so weird. Like, what do a I do? Weird. It's a little weird. <laughs> but. Uh, yeah, how do you feel about seafood? Do you do seafood? I don't do seafood. You don't do seafood. Yeah, no. you're picky. You're a picky eater. I, I have like I have tried a lot of things. Yeah. And I think seafood is like a texture. Yeah. Texture taste thing. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, and I just yeah I'm a, I'm a picky dude. Like I just started eating vegetables like eight years ago. <laughs> Notice me eating vegetables coincides with me meeting and marrying my wife. <laughs> <laughs> That's no disrespect to her at all. Like she literally. Continues to make me a better person, as sappy as that sounds. Because she's like, why are you not eating these? That's what we're eating for dinner tonight. Oh. Here we go. The broccoli. <laughs> but she's smart about it because she knows, like, she's just like, oh, if you just put cheese on it, it makes everything better. Yeah. Done. Facts. Sold. And then it's like, she would progressively take away the cheese. <laughs> you know? That's a smart so, lady, man. Yeah. That's so, smart like, lady. she, like, I'll, I'll eat... Vegetables up so far would be like corn, green beans, broccoli. I'll do some cauliflower to a certain extent if it's if it's prepared the right way. Uh, I've tried peas. So I'm not a fan of peas. I don't like I'll like do straight ahead like like pea peas. I'll do carrots, but even then the carrots have to be like 
I don't do like uh, like when you boil the carrots and chop them up. That's like, gross. That, mm-hmm. Like that, that, that's the texture where I'm like, yeah. oh, oh, this feels like I'm at Grammy's house again. No, yeah. that's something against my Grammy. You know, just she yeah. would boil them a certain way and, and like just it just mushed just it boil it mouth. salt and, like, and that's oh, it. I yeah, can't do this. I needed to crunch a little bit. Yeah. So my mom makes unhealthy carrots. I was, about to, I was about to say my boy for thanks my friendsgiving the one friend the meal that I got that he did he did some mad unhealthy carrots they were so good <laughs> what did yeah. what, what is cinnamon with brown sugar and oh, butter man. yeah yeah that's what my daddy's doing man. yeah and he, he did like so a honey good. a honey glaze type deal and like I I, I was still in the proper diet so like <laughs> I had like my eight ounces of turkey yeah and like three little things of carrots and I just like cherish them nice this is so like good. This. Hello, friends. <laughs> this is so tasty. My precious. <laughs> <laughs> I felt so. Oh man. And I'll do those like zucchini noodles now. Which are those, those zoodles? Are, are those zoodles. good? Are those like a, Again, a worthy? Everything is good if it's prepared correctly. And those are prepared correctly. You saute okay. them just right. Nice little. Those are pretty easy yeah. to prepare. And like a nice little, a little, like a little bit of vegetable oil on them, a little bit of salt, a little pepper. Yeah. I mean, they're just. I'm like, wow, I'm eating healthy today. This is awesome. Yeah. No, I've been debating on getting like into the because I like should. I like eating pasta. But, yeah. You should like it's pretty good. And I've done this. I've done some sweet potato stuff. Just not a fan of that. Really? So I ha- I'm like I try. You should be proud of me. Like anybody that knows me should be proud of me. Because <laughs> as regimented in my ways as I am, for me to like eat these types of food is a huge deal. Proud of you, big dog. Because I have no problem going to Taco Bell and getting my two bean burritos and calling it a day. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> There's just those comfort vices that I fall into when I'm I like, get it. man, it's been a rough day today. Time to feel good about myself. Hello, Mr. Burrito. <laughs> With my well, crappy hot sauce from Taco you say Bell. You say that, and I think I'm about to do the same thing. I'm supposed to cook cook food for the week. Yeah. But I overcooked last week. Yeah, so you probably So I have some extra. Yeah. Treat yourself. So man. I can like, I don't have to cook tonight. I could cook tomorrow. Yeah. Why not? And then plus, it's already, like tomorrow's Tuesday. I've got two meals, so I'm really only cooking for Thursday and Friday. Yeah. yeah. Well, treat yourself, man. That's what I'm saying. I did a three and a half mile run. This I, I start. I, I our our marathon is in a month. Man, he's going now. So this guy's gonna run a marathon. <laughs> That's crazy. With yeah. minimal, I am like on day what day am I? Like seventy seventy seven or something yeah. like that of training for this thing. He's like, I'll just go run a marathon real quick. It's gonna do it, man. Also, the same guy that was like, Oh yeah, I'll go run a half marathon with you. He's like, Oh yeah, okay, I ran it. I'm done. <laughs> I ran seven miles that way. I ran seven miles back. Miles back. I am done. That's it. That's what Where's me? I'm like, I want this. I want this trail to be like this. This, this methodical, mm. well thought out. Like, okay, I want to descend this hill here because I don't want to hurt coming down. I don't want to hurt going up. Now nah, he just goes out. I'm like, nope. oh, I'll just go run this real quick. Straight line. <laughs> Wherever that straight line takes me. That's where I'm supposed to be. No. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> Honestly, I think I could have made like a full marathon, but I think I would have ended up looping back to my apartment. Probably. And then, but also again with my brain, yeah, I wouldn't have been able to go, like, keep going like clockwise. I would have had to turn around. You would, yeah, you would have and veered then, off the, the the path and like, oh god, that that was that's when bad probably would have happened. Yes, you'd have been like, oh my god, like this is nuts. Yes. What yeah. am I doing? My my boy, we went running and like he like started running on dirt and I was like, I hate this. But like, I like I, I have strong ankles, but they like they they yeah. they, 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 they like tweak oh. real quick. So if I'm not on a flat surface, I'm just like da-dum, da-dum. I just so look like a hurts, damn yeah. Bambi trying to run through the field and it's like nothing hurts. Like I don't I don't sprain my ankle ever, but just like I just look foolish. I would just like to be on record as saying it has nothing to do with his shoes that he runs in at all. I didn't run in those shoes today, and I felt like ass. That's because <laughs> you need actual running shoes. No, man. Or... I'm, I'm going to do that marathon in those champions. Oh, my, oh my God. I'm going to do it. We need to call like HR and let them know you're going to be dying. Next day. <laughs> when is it? When are we doing it? Uh, Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. It's a Saturday? Because uh, It's a Sunday. That's it's when Sunday? hearts are breaking, man. Yep. Just put it. I mean, I ain't going to do anything for Valentine's Day. Come on now. Well, I'll be like taking an ice bath when it's all said and done. Yeah, you got. I mean, you got a wife. You can kind of do something. You get her some flowers in the morning. Deuce out for the marathon. No, I'm like, uh, no, we'll do something like in the afternoon. I'll, just, I, I, I'll have to like keep walking around when it's all done. That's right. So like, I can't like sit still and like let all the lactic acid build up just settle. 
destroy my body. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, you need you need proper running shoes. I'm telling you right now, you're gonna thank me later. All right. I, I, I think I showed you the running yeah, shoes, right? You showed Evan, me. Uh, check these look out, these, man. Look these up, man. They're, Nike, they're ridiculous. Nike Alpha Fly. Are those those new ones that they came out with? Those are those new ones that are, like, life-changing. Check these shoes out, man. Oh. Like, worth the price of admission. I gave a three-mile run on those today. They, really? Are they, yeah. good? are they good for running? They are designed for running. 100% just for running. So, like, what they have on that hmm. back part... Yeah, just click on a picture, man. I don't matter yeah. which one. Yeah, click on that one. So on that big old heel, that is like their foam react stuff. Hmm. Literally walking on a cloud. The entire foot plate is carbon fiber. Carbon fiber. Fiber? Fiber. Fiber. There we go. You got it. Yeah, words are hard. But the entire foot plate is carbon fiber. And then you have two little AirPods that propel you. Oh, yeah, there, there's the good picture we're talking hmm. about. Yeah, so like, got, got, got my hands on a pair of these shoes. Tried them out today. As for my recovery, wasn't trying to push the pace. Man, they feel very weird. Yeah. But that's the that's the shoe that's gonna do it. For that's me. it. That's it right there. Hmm. Yeah. That's a wild looking shoe. Got traction, it is. Got traction and it's, on the back of the heel. And it's <laughs> like I you I, I showed it to you on Friday. Yeah. So like not very heavy at all. No, dude, I I was barely holding on to anything. Like it was a chopstick. <laughs> yeah. Imagine holding a single chopstick. That's how much the shoe weighs. It looks like a cloud. Like you're just yeah. <laughs> it, you can, and it feels like you're running on a cloud, to the, be honest. The the stitching is so loose yeah. between like strands, it's like like seventy percent see through. Hmm. Yeah. Wow. So and, and like the the downside is like there's no ankle support on that. Because mm. as I ran today, I could feel like my ankles feeling a little uh -oh. bit uncomfortable, but I think that's also attributed to yesterday's beat down that I endured yesterday. So uh I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I'm not going to run in them a lot until game day. But I may take them out on like a, like as we, as we, as they taper down, one of those is like a 13 mile or a 16 mile run. So I might take them out on those and be like, all right, let's see if these is, this go. is worth the price of admission. Hmm. So I think it will be. We'll see. I hope so, man. That was $300, right? Yeah, probably. <whistles> worth it. I think every shoe I have bought, because I bought a lot of shoes over the past, yeah. Nine months. Yeah. But like every shoe I bought has been like well worth the money spent on them. And I will make sure to get all those miles out of them. 275 bucks. Yeah. Oh! Jeez. I still like the Vapor Flies. The Vapor Flies. The original are, ones that you got last yeah, year? Yeah, those, those lime green ones I got last I like year. I How still much are like the Vapor those. Flies? Those are like 250 I think. I'm not buying those ones. Try again. <laughs> 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 yeah, check out the Vapor Fly because that should be on there somewhere. I mean, I think they're sold out or something like that, but I don't know. That's that like ultra light one, man. Yeah, light yeah, like one, right? I think I think those those alpha flies are lighter than the vapor flies, but I think the vapor flies respond better. Like after, I mean, I have put like probably more miles than I ever should on those vapor flies. Yeah, I think I put like five hundred miles on those. Yeah, those those words still don't mean anything to me. <laughs> miles in the shoe, I on those. Pay less champion shoes I run in. I think oh, I've, I've put in. <laughs> pay less champion? Hell yeah, son. Okay. This, this is what I'm dealing with on a daily basis. We'll do that. About. Every run I've done <laughs> there they has are. been in them shoes. It's like mm. those pink ones over there. Mm. Yeah. So I have the lime green one of those. And I've, like, those are, like, just, I just, I, I, I can't throw them away. 250? Yeah. Like, I just, I, I, they don't work anymore. They hurt when you wear them. I just, I can't throw them away because... I just can't. I'm throwing away 250 bucks. Yeah. They'll just sit in the shoe graveyard and like I pay respects to them. Like, thank you for helping me go fast. I ran my fastest mile on those shoes, I think. My fastest, almost two miles. Fastest 12 minutes was almost two miles. Yeah. Hmm. Like, every, every, worth every penny. Yeah. Yeah, I'll pay, uh, find me a shoe for 125. 125. Oh, dude, I think I've sent you some of that stuff. I know you have. Yeah, I need, I need, I need to pull the, yeah. that that email back out. Yeah, because you, I mean, you can get good shoes for one twenty five, like yeah. easily. Yeah, I just, I want to go fast, and I, I would like to set a land speed record for me. That's all I'm about. <laughs> this is my first marathon, so whatever I put up, I, it's gonna so, like, be go a back speed up, record. Go back up, Evan. Yeah. So I've got those air zoom tempos to like train in. Yeah. To prepare my feet for what it feels like for those alpha flies. 
So I bought like a few pairs of those. So you brought practice shoes for your show shoes. Heck yeah, that's right. <laughs> you know this. You know how we operate. You'd be wild, boy. <laughs> Chris can Chris feels me on this. You don't play on the same read every day, man. You exactly. play on those practice reads. Yeah. And then you and then you perform on the real yeah. read. You got a mallet. You hit the mallet. <laughs> same you keep mallet. hitting that mallet until it's that time. mallet broke. And then you get the same mallet. <laughs> it's like so, mallet but broke. I mean, I, I bought. I definitely haven't bought into the, the carbon fiber plate craze. Yeah, because it really does make um, a difference. Like my, like these are these have the carbon fiber. These are like old. I've retired these and I've turned these into everyday shoes now. But like my Brooks that I used to wear, I like can't run in those. I just right. I feel like so sluggish. I can't like turn over as fast anymore. But they're great. Like just like I'll just walk around in these shoes because they feel great for that. So. I just, and I have the Brooks that have the carbon fiber stuff in them too. The like their their elite version of it, those are okay. Yeah. My feet always feel like I kick cement in them. Like That's if I really pleasant. if I really push I really push the tempo and the speed on the run, they really do feel like like my feet just like hurt when we're done with it. Yeah. Whereas like on these on these Nikes, like they don't feel like that. And so like I'm trying to make sure I don't damage myself more so than I need to for these things. So. But it's yeah, man. You need you need better shoes. You don't have to buy that stuff. You just need not champion shoes, man. I feel in the start. I feel so like I, Zoom Pegasus one twenty. A, a respect. Yeah, man, twenty right there. Those Air Pegasus are good. I feel a respect needed to the shoes. Like I feel like that. That's if I do the marathon in them, then that's when I retire. Man, you, you, know you know are gonna be hurting, man. You're gonna be calling the ambulance. Probably you're probably gonna be calling the ambulance anyways. I don't know how to run twenty six point two miles. <laughs> Mama do it. If David David Goggins could run a hundred miles, just because David Goggins does something, he ran a hundred right. miles. I'm at least a quarter of David Goggins. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll I'll meet you on that one. I'll meet you on that one. But he also like trains properly for that and wears proper footwear. Now he does his first his first thing. He 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 had never done um, uh any any running anything. Yeah. And he wanted to do, he wanted to do this ultra marathon. For like a charity, yeah. But in order to get invited to the ultra marathon, he had to at least have done a hundred mile race previously. So he just went knocked out. He just went and it, there. It was one of those those mile loop ones. So it's like <laughs> it, it was a twenty four hour race on a mile loop, and it was like however many miles you can do in twenty four hours. Yeah, I don't do that stuff. Yeah, and and like he was singular person. Everybody else was teams. Yeah, and he just did a hundred miles. Couldn't walk out. Pooped all over himself. Well, yeah, of course, yeah. Yeah. And that's usually how those things go that's in that, goes, that situation. Man. Lost all his till nails, <laughs> chingo saw hairline fractures, <laughs> full line fractures in his feet, but he did it. And if David Goggins can do 100 miles, I'm at least a quarter of him. I'll give you that. Just, you're going to be trucking, man. Hell yeah. <laughs> I, and again, I'm going for five five hours. All right. If I could ballpark, if I get sub five hours, a one. If I get a a little over five, just make sure you get outside and run a little bit. Just get get yeah. your body in the I'm right. The, I started today, bro. Right. I'm gonna be doing. <laughs> I'm gonna be doing three and a half, three started miles. Started today. It's all yeah, good. Yeah, man. All I right. got. A, it's the eighteenth. You got. We got less. How many months? days until the fourteenth? Do some quick math. Twenty. Uh, I said no. Kind of short on time. Uh, I don't know. I don't it know. is seven forty. I mean, you got you got what? You got less than a month. I know that. Yeah, you, yeah four weeks. You got twenty eight days. Yeah. yeah, yeah, four weeks. Light work, bro. <laughs> all all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep up the bodybuilding, the excuse me, the the powerlifting. Yeah. And run. That's Adding all mass. I'm gonna do. All right. Nice. Yeah. I mean, if you do like that guy, you gonna be like that guy that we exactly, showed around, bro. That Nick Bear Fitness. Just I'm just like, trying to be bodied up <laughs> and run fast. <laughs> If I, I the goal would be to if if I could get it I, this isn't gonna this is gonna happen, but if there was a like magically to where I could get three fifteen on my squat and run a marathon in like the same like right, yeah. week, I'd be super happy. It's not gonna happen. I just put up two twenty five on squat because yeah. I had to like ease back into it on my knees. Yeah, yeah. But you know that'd be the goal. I'm just I'm looking forward to like getting this thing knocked out. Cause it's like starting to get real now. Yeah, yeah. Cause the, the the training runs get way more intense as you taper down. The shorter runs get a little bit more intense. But
but then your 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 easy days really do become a whole lot easier. Yeah. But it's just like, all right, three three under three hours and five minutes. I can be able to do this. You got that done. I just gotta like tell myself over the next four weeks, yeah, oh yeah, I got this. Even if I don't, I still got this. So Do you have the marathon mapped up yet? No. No. It'll probably be like some six or seven mile loop. Okay. So like I like I guess I experimented this past week on the stream. I like okay I like this I like this. I don't want to have to do a lot of hills. And if I'm going down a hill, I'd rather go down the hill than up the hill. That's fair. So that, but there will be some if it's like what what it may be, it may be at my house, run down Tarver, run down three seventeen to Hogan, run up the baby hill, cruise down the hill, run down Old Waco Road, and then just little loops around neighborhoods and just do that like five or six times. You just got to put little signs for me on corners <laughs> on where, here. where to Go turn. here. Yeah. So, and then, like, my, my home will be, like, the station. hydration station. Yeah. So that way, like, if you need to, like, drink, use the restroom, hit your paws, go use the restroom, whatever. Yeah. Uh, and actually, they're building enough houses around me that there's enough porta potties around that just, like, step in there. You just need business. a quick pause. Yeah. 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 So, I don't know what it looks like yet. I might convince my boy Scott to come out, too. We get some people to come through. Have them do it, man. Yeah, man. YOLO. Open Got invite it. to anybody that Come listens out. to the podcast. Come Come stand on a corner somewhere and I'll be cheering. Cheer <laughs> you can on. either cheer us on or you can partake in it. Yeah. And you don't have to do the full distance. If you want to run a 5K, 10K, 20K, I don't know how many Ks you want to do. Come come do it. There's Maybe do that. Everybody. Maybe just do like a 5K loop. No, I don't want that's to do that. That's, that's, that's too few. small, man. Yeah. That's, that's too much math for me. 10K loop? What is that, five 6. miles? 2. That's 6.2. 6.2. So I mean, I guess if it's somewhere between five and seven, okay. that way you have like a clear finish. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I just don't want to count too much. I dig, I dig that. Again, that's why we do straight lines, baby. <laughs> straight lines, baby. Yeah, but it's real hard. Like you hit thirteen, turn like oh, man, Again? I gotta go back. Now. Hell yeah. <laughs> nah, me. I'm like, I want to go somewhere. When I get to the end, I want to be done. Like I want to be. Done with this. So but yeah, you get open to invite. One and then you come back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> open invite. Anybody else, Chris? If you want to come get your, test out your land feet, man. I know you do all the swimming stuff, so feel free to come trot out and jog a little bit. Yeah. Run as far as you want. If anybody wants to take the challenge of the twenty eight day like a mile in, and then yeah, I'm gonna say I'll, it, I'll, I'll I'll do one loop and dive. It's officially <laughs> the twenty eight day marathon challenge. There you go. Let's see who can come who can come through. <laughs> twenty eight day marathon <laughs> challenge. <laughs> You have 28 days to get, get 26.2. I mean, it's not impossible. It's not impossible. You just got to finish it. Yeah. I mean, I, there's a guy on Facebook that I followed, and he's like, oh, yeah, I, I took three weeks to prepare for this marathon. Dude still finished See, it in, he's... like, under, th- like, a little over three. I yeah, was like, 21 days, bro. See, again, I could do it in 28 then. Just not s- smart. <laughs> not smart. <laughs> Has anything I've ever done been ah, smart? You got me there. You got me there. I'm not a bright individual. That's I just true. do things. I hear about things, and I do it. I check You're it like, off the oh, list. I could do that. Yeah. Yeah. Because I find somebody that is less than me. I feel you on that. Right? I know fat people run marathons. <laughs> if they could, if a oh, fat yeah. person could run marathons. I just did a bodybuilding show. If I can't run a marathon, yeah. there's a problem. You know, honestly, the hardest part of the marathon is just getting out of your head. Yeah. When it just mm. starts to hurt a little. I live in the pain. And honestly, That's like... why it, we take supplements. It, <laughs> it totally worth it. Because I never thought that... I've never experienced like the runner's high. Yeah. Finish that first marathon, cross that line. Like, holy crap. I just like did this. Yeah. Felt no pain at all. Just like pure joy. Like cried a little bit. Like, I never thought I would cry over something like that, but like, oh my God, like, I did this. I mean, I didn't really cry because I was dehydrated, but like, <laughs> like, felt, man, like, I did this. Felt some dust Tears come out. Because my goal at that time was just like, man, I just want to get four hours. I'll be happy with under four hours. Saw so the time, three, three, and I was like, oh my God, like, I, cr- I crushed this thing. Yeah. 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 So, like, just like pure joy and like, man, I did, I trained for this for like three months. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I just got to shave 39 minutes off this bad boy. Light work. Yeah. And since we can work remotely on Monday afterwards, I'm just going to sit in the ice bath all day. <laughs> yeah, you ain't going to get much everything. from me. You ain't going to get much from me on that, that Monday. Yeah, I'll post up with my laptop in the tub. <laughs> <laughs> just have the camera just yeah. on my face. All right, what are you doing? Yeah. 
Yeah. All right. Good. Next. Good job. <laughs> so yeah, it'll be a good time. So anybody that wants to come out and do it, feel free. Come out. Just get a jog in. Hit us up. Hit us up, man. Go man. as far as you want. Go as little as you want. Doesn't matter to me. Just it'll be helpful to have people standing somewhere in the neighborhood. I'll try to let my neighbors know. I don't really care. Also, the fact that he's going to finish in three hours and then two hours later I'm going to pull up. It'd be, it'd be cool if there's somebody like somewhere in the middle of that, maybe. Or somebody at least like on pace with me. So yeah. that way it's like, you know. Hon- hon- I mean, honestly, if you just like, and this goes for anybody, man. If people just want to come out and like run with you for a segment. Yeah. I mean, that'd be cool. They can kind of serve as pacers. Show stuff, some right? love, yeah. They might ask some of the some of the like track stars and be like, hey, man, you just want to come jog with him for a little bit and. Come get some exercise, then come park by my house and come, come do through. It. Yeah. yeah, why not? What else are you gonna do on a yeah. Sunday? For sure. Y'all are in high school. You ain't got nothing to do for Valentine's Day. Yeah, Shut man. up. If you were gonna do anything for Valentine's Day, hey, should have done it yesterday. Ain't nobody going out on Sunday. <laughs> What's the matter with you? So yeah. Hey man. Well, I appreciate you being able to come back out. Man. Yeah, man. It's, Always it's, a pleasure. It's been a while, and as you can see. Much has changed. Major upgrade. Major upgrade. You were... You were like the first guest? Episode four. You was the second second guest, man. Yeah, episode four, yeah. And you were episode 54. 50 episodes later. That's right. Wait, 54 55? 55. 55. 55. 51 episodes later. Hey, man, she's 55. I'm good with that. Yeah, man. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah, a lot has happened. Guys are crushed, man. We've had some good conversations with people. I have, man. It's It's been a blast. And I'm glad this one... I think last time was a very intimate conversation about education. Yeah. And this one was a very relaxed conversation about And you got to think where we were at when that first one happened. Yeah. Not a good place. Because that was like right in the middle. No, that was, that was like right out, right after the initial quarantine. Yeah. That was It was in July. July. Because I didn't like come out of the house. Yeah. 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 That was, uh, we had, uh, Abbott had just been like, yeah. it's straight to go out. And then like two weeks later. Yeah. Is when you came on, and that yeah. and that like, the week before then he was like it was a bad idea for everybody to go out. Everybody go back inside. <laughs> everybody go back inside, and you were still like down to come through. So I appreciate yeah. you coming through then. Yeah. Appreciate you coming through now. We'll yeah. see how the rest of the semester turns out. We will. Hopefully it turns out well. So. Hopefully, man. Hopefully, if we bare minimum we get to finish the year. That's the plan. That's the plan, man. I don't, so. I don't think we're gonna have it any other way. That's for sure. Like we're we're. We're having a spring semester. It's going down. Yeah, we're doing it. We we'll, are. We'll, we'll see. We'll see what doing it is. But we gotta we're make up. It. We gotta make up for things that we couldn't do last last this time last year. Hell so. yeah, man. That's weird. Yeah. Once we get to spring break, I'll know for sure <laughs> when we come back from spring break. Then I'll know it's all for real. Yeah. 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 Like yeah. that. That will be the. I'm. The I'm having some thing. weird anxiety during yeah. spring break, bro. I'm just gonna. Well, I had the same anxiety during Thanksgiving, the same anxiety, yep. anxiety during yeah. Christmas break. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We're back now, you know, and if we come back after Thanksgiving, or, uh, spring break, I'll be like, okay, this is for real. We're we good. are good to go. Yeah, good to go. All right. Yeah. Hey, yeah, brother. Well, all right, man. appreciate you, man. Everybody that stayed with us all the way to the end. Appreciate you guys. As always, dudes, thank y'all very much for helping me get this yeah, done. Y'all be easy. Peace. <laughs> Thank you.